wako kwa geti tupo karibu sasa kufunga hiyo geti na ukifungua nje hautakuwa na wako laini maana hapo jana niliweza kupewa ah 
Mwelekeo ambao nitafuata maafisa wa polisi tafadhali ambao wako pale na Hashas waweza kuelekeza mahafala waweze kuingia ndani ya hema tuweze kujipanga vizuri ningetaka kuwajulisha viongozi mbalimbali katika chuo hiki hasa kwa wazazi wetu ili mkienda nyumbani mimi mnajua ni nani viongozi katika chuo hiki chuo ambacho umefanya urafiki kwa miaka mitano hasa wewe mzazi tangia mwaka wa 2018 ambapo hapo hao wanafunzi waliweza kujiunga na chuo hiki Chansela wa chuo hiki anaitwa Dr. James Mwangi walio wengi huwa wanamuita Mwangi wa Ikuti. Watu wanampenda sana. Amekuwa mmoja wetu kwa miaka kadhaa. Ana maono makubwa kwa chuo hiki. Wanafunzi wetu wengi wameweza kuajiriwa katika bank ya Ikuti. Na hapa na pale wakati naomba kwa benki huwa nafurahia sana wakati saa zingine aa wananisalimia na niambia na nilikuona katika chuo cha Nuru Vice Chancellor anaitwa Chancellor anaitwa Professor Ramana Odiambo Yeye ni professor of statistics Nemo statistics sasa zingine ukilitaja mara tatu mfululizo utanoa inahitajika hiyo na neno gradini na mawili uweze kutaja neno hilo mara tatu mfululizo kuna deputy vice chancellor administration and planning anaitwa professor charity gichuki huyu ni profesa wa veterinary medicine kuna profesa Duranera Simon Duranera huyu ni deputy vice chancellor academic and student affairs ni profesa ambaye ana weledi mrefu weledi wa miaka mingi katika mambo ya masomo ama ya elimu registrars kuna registrar administration and planning dr elijah walubuka huyu anaweledi katika upande wa HR Registrar Academic and Student Affairs huyu mmekuwa mkihusiana naye moja kwa moja nyinyi wanafunzi maafala wote njia moja ama nyingine Dr Stephen Karanja naye anaweledi katika somo la isibati mathematics kuna finance officer Mr. Nefat Njero anaweledi mkubwa mambo ya kuweka pesa kuchukua pesa na mipango ya matumizi ya pesa uipea office and he is there to plan au the money is spent ndio maana afla kama hii unaona inaendelea vyema manake pesa zimetumika nyingi lakini pasi na mwelekezi wa matumizi basi mambo yange kuwa unavyoona bado nitaendelea kuwakumbusha maafala maafala ambao wamesimama hapa na pale tafadhali tupo karibu kuanza sherehe yetu 
rasmi kuanzia hapa kwa wajukua kwa hivyo ni vyema muketi kulingana na mlivyokuwa mmepangwa hapo jana wakati wa riazo deans of schools hawa ni wale wakubwa katika vitivo mbalimbali na tuna vitivo vinane katika chuo hiki chetu nitawaeleza ni kina nani mmoja baada ya mwingine Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science anaitwa Dr. Boita Dean School of Business and Economics Dr. Mohamed Shano Dean School of Computing and Informatics Dr. Makao Mutua Dean School of Engineering and Architecture Mr. George Njagi Jero Dean School of Education Dr. Ibuado Charles Njati Dean School of Health Sciences Mr. Mereti Jivas Dean School of Nursing Dr. Mary Joy Kaimuri Dean School of Pure and Applied Sciences Dr. Kennedy Gachoka Dean of Students Dr. Mugambi George and the Senior Librarian Miss Ruth Gibendi Msafara ndio huo ukiwa unaongozwa ukiwa unaongozwa na bendi ya polisi Mafala ambao watakuwa nje hakutakuwa na budi kuwafungia tu manake lazima sheria za sherehe zifuatwe lazima sheria za sherehe zifuatwe bendi ndiyo hiyo na baada ya muda si mrefu wakubwa wetu wataweza kujipanga ili waweze kuja na sherehe iendelee ilivyopangwa Tunasema tuna miaka kumi Tangia chuo hiki kiweze kuitwa Meru University of Science and Technology ambapo wanaweza kupeana vieti mbalimbali kwa waliofuzu 10 years since we got our charter in the year 2013 10 years 10th graduation ceremony since we had our first graduation ceremony in the year 2013 Wageni wetu Wageni wetu hiyo ni bendi ambayo itaongoza msafara wa wakubwa wetu Endelea kufurahia mziki Maafala walio nje dakika za baki mbili na tutawafungia na si vyema tungehitaji nyote tungependa kama nyote muundani ya hema Nikitaja kitivo chako maafala tafadhali nikitaja your school inua mkono juu School of Agriculture and Food Science Mikono juu Hawa wapo ama vipi? Ah, asante sana, asante sana. Wapigieni makofi tafadhali. Na kama inawezekana kamera zinaweza elekezwe huko. School of Agriculture and Food Science mikono juu. Ndio hao. School of Business and Economics mikono juu ndio hao. School of Computing and Informatics Computing and Informatics mikono juu asanteni School of Engineering and Architecture mikono juu asante sana School of Education Walimu mikono juu ndio hao ni wengi School of Health Sciences mikono juu ndio hao wanapima makelele hao wamefurahia kabisa tabasamu hizo 
viweke kwa kamera tafadhali school of nothing wako wapi mkono juu ndio au madaktari school of pure and applied sciences ndio hao tabasamu zaidi ya wote school of pure and applied sciences mkono juu ndio hao naona asanteni sana vitivo mbalimbali wageni wetu endeleeni endele kujisikia mmekaribishwa kabisa Mungu awabariki chuo chetu cha Meru cha Furaia kuwa nasi siku ya leo ni siku ambayo ni muhimu kabisa hasa kwa wanafunzi ambao wanahitimu baada ya miaka nne miaka mine ya kazi nzito kazi nzito kusoma vitabu vingi kufanya mitiani mingi kat na kadhalika ukisikia ukisikia wimbo kutoka kwa ala za mziki pande ile juu ya kwamba tukaribu kuanza hafla tukaribu kuanza hafla hiyo ni bendi ya polisi na wamekuwa wakija kututumbuiza katika hafla kadha wa kadha na hasa katika hafla za kufuzu maafala weledi katika mambo ya miziki yao na vile vile ni walinzi katika nchi yetu ya Kenya kazi ambayo imeweza kufanyika na waadhiri wetu wa chuo hiki chetu cha sayansi na teknolojia ili hawa wanafunzi moja na wanne waweze kufuzu si kazi kidogo waadhiri wetu mahali popote ambapo mpo tunasema asante sana mkiwa na mnaongozwa na the head of the division Professor Zuranira na pia the registrar Dr. Stephen Karanja kazi yenu imekuwa nzito lakini ni kazi ambayo ina matunda vile vile wafanyakazi wenzangu ambao mmesaidia kwa njia moja ama nyingine kule kwa ofisi kule jikoni kule kwa library kule kwa estate kwa transport na kwingine kwingi kule kwa halls malazi we are students are accommodated mkawafanyia kazi miaka mine wakawa wana utulivu wa akili tafadhali jueni ya kwamba juhudi zenu bidii zenu zimezaa matunda na ndiyo haya siku ya leo ambayo tunafurahia mwanafunzi kuja hapa akiwa ajui chochote na baada ya miaka minne anajua mengi anapewa degree anapewa diploma anapewa certificate si kazi rahisi ni kazi ambayo imeweza kufanywa na watu kadha wa kadha nao hao wameongozwa na mkuu wa kitengo hicho head of that division professor charity gichuki the head of the administration division akiwa na registrar dr walubuka na vile vile wakiwa wote wanashikiliwa pande zote na the finance officer Mr. Nefat Njeru viongozi wa samu pia niseme ya kwamba mmefanya kazi nzito wewe ulikuwa kwa executive wewe ulikuwa school rep campus rep ama women rep ama man rep au wote the student council god bless you we have seen tremendous improvement in leadership in this university under the leadership of the dean of students dr george mugambi mungu awabariki nyote na mahali ambapo mnaenda kuongoza mungu aendelee kuwainulia 
uh, kuwainua kutoka kiwango kimoja hadi kingine na kuwapanulia njia ili muweze kuongoza taifa letu la Kenya na ulimwengu kwa jumla. Nimesema kama nilivyosema hapo awali tuna vikundi mbalimbali ambavyo vitakuwa vinatusaidia katika um, kutumbuiza kuna kwaya kuna koro na ni wanafunzi wetu mtawasikia walio na sauti nyororo sauti ambazo zinaweza kumtoa nyoka mpangoni na kumweka mpangoni sauti nyororo wanafunzi wetu ambao wamekuwa kijiandaa kwa wiki karibu tatu ili waweze kuwaletea mziki na tumbu hizo mbalimbali na mwaka ujao kati ya wale ambao watakuwa natumbiza hapa watakuwa wameketi hapo sijui huyu kijana ambaye anaitwa Thomas Captain Boy kama anafuzu siku ya leo ama atafuzu mwaka ujao naona yuko pande hii na amevaa magwanda Kipkombo ni wakati utatoka pande hiyo uje pande hii nani utaachia kiti hicho? Amaanisha kwamba siku ambazo tutakuwa nazo funza mtu ambaye ataketi hapo ili wakati huo mwingine kiti chako kisiachwe bila bila wa kukikalia. Jana nilisikia kwamba for the first time we have a PhD graduate in the school of computing and informatics that's very wonderful for the first time we have a PhD graduate in the school of agriculture and uh, food science sasa zingine huwa nasahau majina haya lakini nisamehe tu inaitwa food sands spas school of Ag uh, food uh, agriculture and food sands school of nimesahau tena usijali maafala ambao wako nje tafadhali ingieni ndani walio wengi walitii walitii na ukiona watu wanatii sheria kidogo kidogo hata zile nzito nzito huwa ni rahisi ukiona watu hawatii sheria ndogo 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 hata zile nzito huwa ni shida kutii tunaweza wekewa mziki kwa sekunde 30 ili niweze kunywa maji kidogo huku tukiendelea kujiandaa asanteni ashas wetu naona kina agnes kinya agnes kamba frida naona kina ondabu pale naona kina muriungi pale naona kina mugambi mugam pale awa ashas you doing a great job akina purity hub ni wengi akina gladys hapo kina frida pandili nyingine mungu awabariki mnafanya kazi nzuri kazi nzuri mnayoifanya akina Cecilia na waona waona nyote akina Twiza na waona huku wenzangu upande huu wa nyuma naendelea kuona mnafanya kazi nzuri mziki uendelee tafadhali mziki uendelee kabisa You can be shaking your head. All I'm going to do is that God has given me all I know who I am. 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 Hao wanafunzi akiwa anasaidiwa na watu kadha wa kadha 
Asa Waadhiri Ambao Wame Weza kufanya kazi kwa miaka mine Wakawafunza wanafunzi Lakini baada ya kufunzwa Na rekodi zenu kuwekwa Lazima zienda kwa exam Ili muweza kupewa vieti vienu Na baada ya siku si nyingi Mutaweza kupata vieti vienu Vikiwa na sahihi Ya vice chancellor Seme ya kwamba Watu kaza katika department ya exam wamefanya kazi nzito na baada ya dakika kidogo nitawajuza walio usika kwa vikali ili wewe ulie keti hapo baada ya siku chache uweze kwenda na cheti chako nyumbani cheti ambacho utatumia kupata kazi Mungu aweze kuwabariki dakika eh, eh, sekunde 30 ili niweze kunywa maji kidogo alafu tuendelee muziki dakika eh, sekunde 30 kubariki na watu wako wote hiyo ni ofisi ambayo huwa haijulikani sana Dr. Lilian huwa anaambia wanafunzi siku ya orientation manake huwa katika upande wa exams tunaonana nanyi siku ya leo ya orientation tutaonana nanyi siku ya mwisho ukichukua cheti chako hiyo ni ofisi ambayo hata wale ambao wanafanya kazi kule au wajui manake si vyema kujuana na hao kwa sababu ya sababu ambazo uwezi kuziepuka Dr. Lilian you have done a great job with your team It's a great team of women and men and women who really have made our exams to have the integrity that it deserves the cuts the exams for you Dr. Lilian we appreciate you keki ndio hiyo Piga makofi tafadhali. Piga makofi mazuri. Keki ndiyo hiyo. Keki ya kilo kilo 23 ni keki ambayo ni ya kilo 23 ambayo tutaikata siku ya leo. Asante sana bwana Mwenda. Asante Kaimeni. Asante Cecilia. Asante Evelyn. Asante Asante sana Elizabeth. Asante Geoffrey. Asante. Pigeni picha hiyo keki na iweze kutumwa kwa mitandao. Bendi yetu asanteni kwa kuendelea kututumbuiza. Mungu awabariki.
check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Thank you. Mic check. The cake will be served, the cake will be served. Manage your appetite. If you know even Pavlo for conditioning theory, some of you must be salivating by now. By now. Salivating, yes, by now. <laughs> so manage your appetite, time will come. Asante sana, Daktari Elijah Walubuka. Wanao elewa mambo ya dini Elijah ni jina ambalo ninaashiria nabii ambaye alikuwa anaitisha moto kutoka juu na moto waanguka na nabii huyo ni yule nabii ambaye alienda kwa mjane akamwambia andaa mkate unipe nile sasa Elijah wetu hapa siku ya leo anatuambia andaa koo mkate upo hii keki kila mmoja ataweza kupata kwa sehemu hata wale ambao wameketi nyuma lakini ninasema ya kwamba walio keti mbele nyinyi mna bahati zaidi kwa hivyo ili aliweza kuchelewa akakaa nyuma Sitasema shauri yako lakini nasema ya kwamba ikifika kidogo furahia manake aliye mbele amepata kubwa. Na sijasema sasa tuanze kusonga mbele wewe keti mahali ambapo umeketi tu itakufikia. Mashamanzi ni wengi, asha ni, ni wengi. Keki itafika kila pahala ambapo inatakiwa kufika ni keki ambayo inaadhimisha Neka kumi tangia wakati tuweza kupewa hati ya kupeana degrees certificates of all kinds in this our beloved renowned institution of higher learning chuo cha science na teknolojia cha Meru niseme ya kwamba It is the only university north of this country that is of science and technology. Na nimesema ya kwamba wazazi tafadhali na wageni wetu usitoke hapa bila kupigiwa picha mahali ambapo jina la Mary University lipo vizuri mpiko limeandikwa vizuri. Weka kwa Facebook. Weka kwa Instagram. Weka kwa WhatsApp profile hiyo picha frame it frame it frame that picture remind of yourself remind yourself of this day the year 2023 the 11th of march year 2023 the year that mary university celebrated 10 years of getting the charter wazazi Igweni picha mahali pazuri. Tuma hiyo picha kila pahala. Ambia wenzako ya kwamba ulikupo katika chuo cha Meru. Chuo kikuu cha Meru. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu nilijitahidi kumsomesha mtoto wangu. Wanafunzi nao pigwa picha, pigwa pia na wadhiri. Pigwa na wafanyakazi ambao mlikuwa nao. Jana tulipigwa na watu ambao wasichezaji wa michezo mbalimbali. Na nikafurahia wakiwa wameshikilia vikombe ambavyo walikuwa wamevishinda. Mungu ni mwema, manake tuendelea vyema. Niseme ya kwamba mgeni wetu wa heshima anaitwa Dr. James Mwangi, the CEO of Equet Bank. Walio wengi wanamjua kama Mwangi wa Equet na ni kwa heshima kubwa nikimuita hivyo manake anajulikana sana kama Mwangi wa Equity lakini sisi hapa tunamjua kama Dr. Mwangi wa Innovation na amekuja na watu kadha wa kadha ambao wamemleta hapa naona kama vile 
Mwenye, e, rafiki yangu ambaye anaitwa gitari Gabriel Mungu akubariki rafiki yangu jua kwamba kwa njia moja ama nyingine uhusiano kati ya equity na Mary University ni mkubwa wanafunzi wetu waliohitimu katika somo la biashara na hesabu na kompyuta na kadhalika wameweza kupata kazi pale equity vile vile kuna madam Jitonga wa equity rafiki yetu kabisa mkuu pale pande wa e, makutano amekuwa na uhusiano mzuri na chuo hiki kuna wengine wageni kana wa kana ambao wako hapa wengine wao watatajwa baadaye lakini naona wazee ambao wameheshimika katika uh, jamii ya Meru wanajulikana kama the jury cheke elders wako hapa baraka kubwa ambayo mweza kutunikia chuo hiki juu ya kwamba chuo hiki kilipewa nafasi ya kujenga ama shamba hili lipeanwa na wazee wa nzuri ncheke ili tuweze kupata makerere hapa Meru miaka mingi iliyopita na wazee wengi ambao walikuwa na maono hayo wazee ambao walikuwa na maono hao walio wengi hawako lakini maono yao mnayaona chama ni wao anaitwa Washington Mudhamia ana wenzake hapa ambao kwa njia moja ama nyingine wakati fulani watakuwa wanatajwa kwa hivyo wazee wa njuri cheke Mungu aweze kuwabariki na muendelee uh, kutuongoza vyema kutupa ushauri Nakumbuka wakati fulani mlikuja na mkaweza kutatua mambo fulani hapa kwa hekima yenu kubwa kwa hekima yenu kubwa mwaka uliopita asanteni sana Naona maprofesa kadha wa kadha ambao wamejiunga nasi siku ya leo Mungu awabariki Mungu awabariki Maafisa wa polisi kazi yenu inatambulika kazi yenu inatambulika afla yetu iko karibu kuanza in the next few minutes we should be starting officially from the dais because majority of our guests have arrived wanataka kujiunga na msafara ili tuweze kuanza hafla kamili hafla hafla rasmi mafala ambao wamesimama upande ule wa nyuma langoni kama unasikia sauti yangu njooni ndani sasa watumbuizaji wetu tunawaenzi sana tunawapenda mmevalia nadhifu kabisa na najua ya kwamba mmejiandaa Mungu awabariki. Mungu awaonekanie. Tutaweza kusikiza nyimbo mbalimbali kutoka kwao. Na pia mashairi ama koro. Koro. Hiyo ni bendi ya polisi. Weledi katika miziki ya ala. Vijana kutoka chuo hiki chetu wamekuwa asa wale ambao wako katika kitivo cha uh, School of Computer and Informatics Journalism Club na waona hapa wanaendelea na kazi nzuri wamekuwa kifanya kazi nzuri sana ili watuletee matangazo ya moja kwa moja kupitia mitandao ya kijamii YouTube and also Facebook. Kwa hivyo wale walio nyumbani wanatufuata. Wanatufuata kupitia YouTube and Facebook. Mungu 
Aonekanie na wapi nguvu. Hiyo ni kazi ambayo mnaifanya na ni kazi muhimu manake inaweka kumbukumbu. Inaweka kumbukumbu nzuri ya hafla ya maana kama hafla hii. Over 90% over 95% of the graduates are seated that is very good our guests all of all our guests are already ready we are just waiting for the signal from them so that the procession starts when the procession starts they will come and they will be shown their various seats and then things will flow as planned. Wageni wetu ni wajuisha kwamba wanafunzi wetu wamekuwa kijihusisha na mambo mbalimbali kando na mambo ya masomo. Asa michezoni. Asa michezoni. Na wamekuwa wakifanya vyema kabisa katika masomo yetu na muona kiranja wao upande wa samu anaitwa oguk ndio huyo oguk oguk amekuwa kwa upande wa robo amekuwa akifanya mchezo unaitwa robo skipping na vile vile amekuwa kwa upande wa riadha kurusha mkuki Namuona vile vile Kimaru Volleyball captain inua mkono juu mahali upo Mungu akubariki Kimaru Naona pia hapa mbele wenzangu wenzangu wafanyakazi wenzangu wakusu wanakusu they are here with me but today they are on the other side as students Namuona Masi Kanywa inua mkono juu Namuona Miriam Wanderi mkono juu na muona Gatweri mkono juu. Na muona Gladys Okundi mkono juu. Eh na muona Gladys lakini Gladys bado hajaitimu. Ye yeah, leo leo Gladys niasa lakini mwaka ujao atakuwa ameketi hapo kwa kitengo cha uzamili. Mungu awabariki sana wenzangu endelee ni kusoma lakini nyinyi lazima kesho kesho kutwa mande mjiandikishe na phd you have to lead by example phd ili hao wanafunzi nao waende kwa masters hiyo ni kuadhimisha kwamba wanafunzi the services that you get from our staff are professional services now those are part of those who serve you today they are here with you having attained their master's degrees in various capacities na tafadhali wakati unapigwa picha wacha hiyo picha nzuri ambayo inatabasamu pigwa picha ambayo inatabasamu tumesema kwamba kuna keki na hii keki itakatakatwa ni sehemu mbalimbali ni keki ambayo ina kilo 23 kg 200 g imepikwa vizuri unaona ya kwamba ina rangi za chuiki rangi za chuiki Bwana Ogutu Mungu akubariki mwelekezi wa matumbuizo ya siku ya leo wale ambao wanafanya uh, viongozi wa matumbuizo nilisahau majina Bwana Ogutu nipe majina yao niweze kuwatambua vile vile naweza kumtambua niweze kumtambua Bwana Alfred Mugendi na wenzake ambao wanafanikisha mambo ya public address system pia public 
agro system wengine wenu sijui kwa na jina lakini Mungu awabariki mahali mupo Mungu awaonekanie awapanulie njia mpate biashara zaidi na maeneo mbalimbali watu ni wengi ambao wameweza kufanikisha ah sherehe hii iweze kufana ni wengi ni wengi nimesema kwamba kuna wanafunzi kuna wazazi kuna waadhili kuna wafanyakazi mbalimbali kuna vitengo mbalimbali hata wengine kutoka nje maafisa wa serikali maafisa wa usalama wote nyote siwezi kuwataja kwa jina lakini jioni ya kwamba kazi yenu imeweza kutambulika ndio maana tunaona hafla ambayo imefana muziki kwa sekunde dhalathini ID security Mungu aweze kuwabariki kazi ambayo mnafanya kutoka upande wa gate na maeneo mbalimbali magari yako salama Mungu awabariki our university council our management led by our vice chancellor professor Romano Zadiambo the two DVZs professor Kichoke professor Duranira the two registrars Dr. Obuka Dr. Karanja the finance officer the exams officer Dr. Lilian and many other people may God bless you wherever you are you have made this do a success more so let me recognize the presence of our various visitors who have followed our parents wote ambao wameandamana na wazazi wetu kutoka maeneo mbalimbali nchini Kenya madereva ambao wameendesha magari ambao mlikuja nao watu ambao kwa njia moja ama nyingine wameandaa karamu, ka, karamu hapa na pale Mungu awabariki Mungu awabariki mnafanikisha sherehe hii mziki kwa e, sekunde 30 kama kuna Asante sana, asante sana. Welekezi upande wa matumbu hizo. Niseme ya kwamba wanafunzi wetu watatumtumuiza hapa. Ni wanafunzi walio katika mwaka wa tatu, wa pili na wa kwanza. Kuna choir leader Mutu wa Daniel School of Spas, School of Pure and Applied Sciences, BSc Chemistry. Kuna koro leader Edward Edward Kivi Zadia School of Education mwalimu katika isibati na geografia Kuna trainer wao anaitwa Jacob Ogutu and the director of all these is the VC professor Romana Zodiambo Hiyo ni bendi yetu ya nchi ya Kenya bendi ya polisi kazi nzuri kazi nzuri kazi nzuri kazi nzuri waadhiri wetu wanajipanga pale wakiwa wamejitwika magwanda rasmi the lecturers are there very ready in the procession 
namuona ndugu yangu pale Ayubu Mereti Ayubu Mereti anaendeleza kazi Mungu akubariki mashemanzi kadha wa kadha wanaendeleza kazi akina Judy Judy nawaona pale Dean of Students Office Mungu akubariki akina Julia tu pande huu they have been serving our students diligently kina Karif pale kwa registrar academic mkuu wakiandaa wanafunzi wetu vizuri akina Sami pale library Mungu awabariki sana akina Doris akina Kadogo akina Ses Mungu awabariki dada yangu pale you have been serving our students well Kanai Ken Kanai pale kwa registrar Helen our student counselor God bless you kina Anne God bless you Bonareri Mkuu pale upande wa admissions kabla aweze kwenda mahali pengine ninamuona kiongozi wa kitambo ambaye anaitwa 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 Kiprimo Dan Kiprimo SG na mwenzake ambaye waachani nafikiri anaitwa Achira kama si Janoa nafikiri anaitwa Achira na mwenzake pale pia nimesahau na jina lakini Mungu awabariki inua mkono juu those are former student leaders walimaliza nafikiri miaka miwili iliyopita na mwenzangu engineer tulikuwa tunamuita msimangu Mungu akubariki huyo tulisoma na yeye pale shule ya sekondari ya Middle School Mungu akubariki msimangu na muona our internal auditor Samuel Richard Mungu akubariki our PO procurement officer ni there Fred Ma Gicho Mungu akubariki watu ni wengi siwezi wataja wote lakini Mungu akubariki ndugu yangu inua mkono juu ni wewe ni wewe ndugu yangu inua mkono juu umekuja na watoto wako waambia kwamba chuo ni hiki cha Meru chuo ni hiki cha sayansi na teknolojia cha Meru watoto mkono juu chuo ni hiki cha Meru wakati ambapo utatimia Awai city officer Joyce Mugore Mungu akubariki mambo ya mitambo mambo yanayohusiana na wifi na kadhalika Huyo dada ainua mkono juu ndio huyo ndio tusaidia na mambo ya ICT watu ni wengi ambao ufanya kazi katika chuo cha Meru siwezi siwezi wataja wote kwa jina ni wengi ni wengi madaktari wetu kule hospitalini huwa tunawatembelea tu wakati tuna shida za kimwili za kiafya wakati tuna afya nzuri atuwakumbuki kini hakuna shida wanafanya kazi yao ni kama vile polisi huwa watu watumbui huwa tunawatambua wakati tuna shida lakini wakati hatuna shida tutambui shida eh, kama kuna kitu wanafanya tafadhali polisi Tunajua kazi zenu ni kazi nzito. Unafanya kazi nzito. Mungu awabariki. Watu ambao wanafanya kazi ya catering. Mungu awabariki. Huwa mnafanya kazi kule jikoni, moto wanawachoma. Hata hatujui ni kina nani wanafanya kazi kule ndani. Kazi yetu ni chakula tu. Kikiandaliwa tunafurahia. Whatever you do, may God bless you. May God bless you. You do a great job. We appreciate it whatever you are. Kuna watu wengine ambao ufanya kazi ndani ndani. Secretaries mahali mpo. Huwa mnaendeleza kazi nzuri. Watu wa finance mahali mpo. Niliona mmoja hapa kijana ambaye amesoma. Amesomea hapa. Shahada ya kwanza anaitwa Oscar na alikuwa mwanamichezo. Ndio hiyo. Asante sana Oscar Onalwa. Akafanya sasa ni mwanafunzi katika uzamili possibly next year atakuwa ameketi hapa school of business na muona Ketaria Ketaria Dismas Ketaria lecturer upande wa ICT school of uh, computing and informatics 
Mungu akubariki Kitaria. Nasema watu ni wengi ambao wamefanya kazi katika chuo hiki kufanikisha hafla hii. Student leaders naonda kip 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 tu kitui ama kitu kama hicho. Nimesahau wengine. Lakini wako hapa ni wengi. Kuna Clinton na kina Kariuki inue ni mkono viongozi wa wanafunzi. Student Council inua mkono vizuri. Mtambulike. Even former student leaders naona akina Vincent. Akina Vincent inua mkono juu na wenzako tafadhali. Eh naona hapo akina Wafula na akina Diana. Ni wengi ni wengi. Vile majina saa zingine wepuka akili ya milalamu hasa wakati kama huu. Lakini hao ni wanafunzi ambao wamekuwa viongozi katika chuo hiki. Masuala ya wanafunzi nimesema ya kwamba masuala ya wanafunzi utatuliwa katika maeneo ya Dean of Students kiongozwa na Dr. Dr. George Mugambi huyo ndiye boss wangu Muziki unaweza wekwa kwa muziki taratibu muziki taratibu na saa zingine kumbuka wazee kama mimi wakati unaweka muziki wazazi wetu pia ni wazee uh, weka muziki taratibu saa zingine na saa watu ambao uh, uh, wanapenda nyimbo za dini si vibaya kusikiza wakati kama huu za furaha furaha uh, muziki kwa sauti ya chini chini manake kuna mkutano ambao uh, atungataka uh, Asante sana Asante sana afi Nilikuwa nasema kwamba ni okay muziki wa 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 umri wangu pia wa umri wangu Na hapa tuko wengi Akina Kamba naona unapiga simailu tuko wengi Akina Dr. Warubuka tuko wengi wazazi wetu ndio wale tuko wengi Alafu tutawekea muziki wenu pia Usijali? Tutawekea. Lakini kwa sasa nataka muziki ambao Na nani alikuambia napenda muziki kama huo? Ni sawa, asante. Usisahau mambo ya hapa tayari Usisahau Umeza Mateote kuna keki ya kilo 23.2 Keki iko Wanao baatika ni wale wote ambao wameweza kujifikisha Kama umehudhuria hapa hii Lazima Lazima sehemu ya keki
Wanapelekwa pole 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 mpaka wakati chuo hiki kikaitwa Mary University of Science and Technology. Malaka ilikuwa ni Mekotech. Alafu tukaenda MOOCs. That is Mary University College of Science and Technology. Alafu baadaye ikawa Mary University of Science and Technology. Hiyo ni historia ambayo huwa inapeanwa kwa weledi mkubwa na daktari eh Elijah Walubuka Ukijisikia kisunzi kidogo ama kizunguzungu kidogo juu ya kwamba tuko na madaktari wetu na watu ambao wa ya kwanza Zafaria nguo ama magwanda mekudu mekudu pale nyuma kuna ambulance kwa hivyo unaenda enda pale na uweze kupata huduma ya kwanza. Ukisikia ukisikia vizuri naenda enda pale. Na niseme pia kuna Mount Kenya Academy ambao ni partners wetu, marafiki zetu 
katika baadhi ya afro ambazo huwa tunazo na siku ya leo wako hapa wako na tenti yao karibu na ambulance naenda uwatembelee Mount Kenya Academy iko pale Nyeri iko na secondary school na iko na primary school na hawa wameweza kuajiri walimu wetu wasiana na tegea interviews na nafikiri hata wakati huu wanaweza chukua wawili watatu kwa hivyo pitia pale waweza kukunduza wawili matatu so turudi kwanza Once we had, we'll be coming over. Watch to take that first, and then we'll come back. We are we held our rugby tournament there, national rugby tournament for universities. It's a great school with very good sporting activities. Na unaweza piti ya pale uweze kupata mabo zaidi. Na muana mwenzangu pale wakusu muana kusu na itwa. Pita wekesa, no amkono ju. Pita wekesa siku ya leo. Ana vikwa paji ya uzamiri upande wa HR. Makuwa katika ofisi ya HR pale. Amuona yuko pamoja na wengine ambao niweza kutuataja apa wali. Aki na masi, aki na Miriam, aki na Okundi, Gladys, na Pia, Sara Katuiri, our public. Public, 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 public relations officer. Our chaplain, Karibu Sana, Father Doctor Kinoti, my former schoolmate, and currently one of the lecturers and also our chaplain. Buana Arubuka, Nafikiri Semiangu, in Rizkia Hapo, Unawaona. Msafara umeanza ukiwa na waadhiri wakiwa wanafuatwa na wakuu wa chuo hiki na kwa hayo mengi na machache Mungu aweze kubariki sasa na wavika na mpasha Bwana amkaribisha Bwana warubuka Dr. Warubuka pole Dr. Warubuka aweze kuendelea Kuanzia saa hii mpaka mwisho Mungu aweze kuwabariki. Thank you very much Ramara. Work well done. Thank you my brother. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll be asking you to stand up as they come in. Just a second. Shall we all stand? <coughs>
the National Police Band led by Joshua Nkando. Kenya National Police Band led by Joshua Nkando. Ladies and gentlemen, remain standing for the national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, we invite Reverend Father Kinoti to open for us with a word of prayers. Father Kinoti. Friends, brothers and sisters, let us invite the Holy Spirit in prayer and pray according to your culture and tradition. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we begin with the Word of God from Luke and Matthew. He saw two boats pulled up in the beach. The fishermen had left them and were washing the nets. Jesus got into one of the boats. It belonged to Simon and asked him to push off a little from the shore. Jesus sat in the boat and taught the crowd. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, push the boat out further to the deep water, and you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Master, Simon answered, we worked all hand all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I will let down the nets. They let them down and caught such a large number of fish that the nets were about to break. So they motioned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full of fish that the boats were about to sink. When Simon Peter saw what had happened, he fell on his knees and before Jesus said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. Matthew, you have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And even one wants to sue you and take your shirt and over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who has to you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward do you get? Are not even the tax collectors and sinners doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Friends, we offer this graduation as an offering to our Lord. For the many labors, the nets we put down, and look at the wonderful catch of certificates, diplomas, and degrees. In humility you came four or five years ago, and the Lord has blessed you, family, society, and nation, with great success in skills and knowledge and growth and maturity. We are sinners. The Lord has done this to all of us through family, through the government, through the university, lecturers, fellow students. We thank the Lord for his action in this success. Let us therefore pray. God of joy and hope, we thank you for this time of graduation. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered our handwork and discipline in such a way that our hunger for learning has been nourished with the knowledge, discovery, creativity, and determination. As we prepare to graduate today, to receive our certificates, diplomas, and degrees, let us walk prayerfully in gratitude for many blessings 
that have made this moment real and, and filled with great potential. In gratitude, we pray for families and for the men who have sacrificed and worked to see us to this hope hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the professors and administrators who have challenged, cared, crafted us along this academic journey. In gratitude, we pray for fellow students who have taught us more about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. God, even as we have faced the challenge and accomplished much, we understand that our lives move into a new chapter where there will be more challenges to face and more will be demanded of us in order to accomplish good things for our nation, for families and society. May your grace cover our anxieties and fears so that we may, we may stay encouraged about the future. And finally, a blessing for all of us. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust to the hands of our Lord those who will graduate today. May God who began this good work in you carry it through to completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God who gave you the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments, always in confident support of those who love you. May God bless you with the discomfort at the easy answers, half truths, and superficial relationships, so that you will deep you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with the anger at the injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people, so that you work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless you with the tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war, so that you reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity be a gift to the world and may the Spirit of God be with you and may Almighty God bless you, remain with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Father Dr. Kinoti. You may resume your seats as we invite our uh, dear Vice Chancellor, Professor Romano Soviembo, to constitute the assembly of the 10th congregation. Welcome, sir. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in accordance with the University Act number 42 of 2012, section 39, part two, and the Mary University of Science and Technology Statute 41, section six, I declare this assembly the 10th congregation of the Mary University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, we have come to the time of entertainment and at Mary University we nurture talent. We do not only provide quality education but we also nurture talent and we have two groups today. We have a choir and a choral. And I will request the choir to, to be upstanding and move to the dais as quickly as possible. The choir has a song entitled Nina Sema Asante that is led by Daniel Motua. This is one of our students. This is one of our students. Please hasten your steps and move to the dais. We also have a choral that is in line with our theme for this graduation which is embracing science, technology and innovation for sustainable development. I wish you a good entertainment and I hope you'll enjoy the presentation. Karibu. Thank you. 
presentation. This choral group is also led by one of our students, Edward Kezi. Karibu. an illustration where you just need to use your eyes and get to understand what the actor is doing. It is up to you to interpret what he's doing. I'm sure you can relate to his actions. And uh, I can see he has a hanger there, or is it a wardrobe? Where he has uh, hanged his graduation attire. We cannot imagine what he's doing. It is something that we can relate with. So let us uh, see what is the end of this illustration. Can you relate with what activities you carried out this morning as you prepared to come? I am sure you can all relate to what you did this morning as you prepare for your big day.
Thank you very much. Let us appreciate. Let us appreciate the choral team. There is an announcement of a lost child. Harriet, please uh, come nearer the dais. We wish to announce the parents to this child. Please pick your child from Harriet. And please, parents, please watch over your children because we are many and the children will stray around. Please watch over them. Thank you. Thank you very much. I take this opportunity to invite our DVC, Asa, to take us through the next session. Professor Thuranira, please. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in accordance to the University Charter, Part 2, Section 2B, and Statute 5, Section 3, on the confirmment of degrees and other words, I take this opportunity to invite the Vice Chancellor to read the citation for the Chancellor's Research and Innovation Award of Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I take this opportunity to read the citation of Dr. Joy Nyawira Riungu for the Chancellor's Research and Innovation Award of the Meru University of Science and Technology. The biodata of Dr. Joy Nyawira Riungu. Dr. Joy Nyawira Riungu was born in 1974, one of the eight children to Mr. Justice Riungu and Mrs. Ferranza Riungu in Cheogore, Tarakaniki County. She attended Kimusia Primary School and Mutambi Girls High School before joining Egerton University in Joro where she graduated with a, with a B.Sc. in Agricultural Engineering in to the year 2001. She later joined, proceeded to join Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology for her postgraduate studies as Master of Science. In 2010, she was awarded a Master of Science in Environmental Engineering and Management degree, after which she joined IHE the Institute for Water Education Depth in Netherlands to pursue a doctorate in water and sanitation engineering. She graduated with her PhD in the year 2021. Her research work. Dr. Ryungo's interest in research on sanitation started during her undergraduate education at Egerton University. In her fifth year of study, she carried out a project on the effects of aeration on the deg degradation of solid organic waste. At JK Watt, she was rated one of the best students in her program and won an opportunity at an exchange program with La Peranta University of Technology in Finland. While there, she conducted research on the removable of pesticides from water using ultrafiltration and nanofiltration uh, membranes. During her doctorate studies at IHE Institute of Water Education Delft, she was one of the 20 PhD students funded under the Sunny U, U, Up, Sunny Up project that is stimulating local innovation on sanitation for urban poor in sub-Saharan sub, sub Africa and Southeast Asia. 
The project aimed at stimulating local innovations on sanitation for the urban poor through research and to strengthen the sanitation sector in developing countries through education and training. Her research work culminated into a thesis and titled Enhanced Biogas Production with Concomitant Sludge Hygienization of Fecal Matter. In 2016, she initiated a multidisciplinary team of experts at Mary University of Science and Technology to accelerate achievement of Sustainable Development Goal 6.2 on sanitation and hygiene. <clears throat> Through this and other initiatives by Dr. John Joyce Riungu, Mary University of Science and Technology has gained international recognition as a leading institution in the sanitation sector. Dr. Joy Ringo is a principal investigator on a UNESCO IHE DEV research project funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on transfer of DEV based sanitation programs to universities in Africa and Southeast Asia. The grant mark the growth of a postgraduate and graduate sanitation programs in Kenya. The programs have grown to accommodate 122 Master of Science in Sanitation fully funded to date, with the first cohort of seven students graduating today. A total of 133 are enrolled in various sanitation short courses Father she led a team in development of a PhD in sanitation and waste management and Bachelor of Science in sanitation waste management curricula. The first in these programs are expected to join the university in May 2023. Her grants, the grants to Mary University of Science and Technology. Dr. Joy Ringu and her team of experts have won grants to Mary University of Science and Technology as follows. Number one, Utafiti projects that is from waste to wealth and health 2018-2019, what we call here as Thomas. The pilot project sought to show that human waste could indeed be converted to resources with potential for livelihood enhancement. The team initiated a human waste collection initiative within an educational complex located at the outskirts of the university, that is the Kunene Educational educational complex. By using the black soldier fly technology, that is the BSF, waste was converted to protein in the form of BSF lava and orga organic ma manure, both with potential for livelihood and enhancement. This project led to the establishment of a waste conversion unit that is operational in the university to date. This has continued to enhance collaboration of mass with industrial partners, the government, the counties, the youth fund, and individuals. The second grant is titled Towards Circular Economy Based Sanitation Provision, an entry point to cleaner, healthier cities. The project is a joint collaboration between Aston University in the UK and Mary University of Science and Technology. The project based on circular economy approach sought to assess accept acceptability of sanitation derived products among the community using the black soldier fly technology. Waste is converted to high protein feed. The protein feed was used for, for, for the formulation of broiler feed. The team set up chicken demonstration sites to assess the growth effect of the formulated feeds in comparison to available commercial feeds where broiler chicken were reared. Of course, they also tried to look at the, the economic aspect of this by creating new enterprises. The sites were also used as farmers demonstration sites where we had several communities coming to learn. Additionally, the team did assess the community's perception on reuse of sanitation derived products and also pro conducted a, sens a sensory evaluation where the need quality was evaluated. The project did support six MSc in sanitation uh, studies. 
the third grants that Dr. Joy has brought to this university, Mr. Chancellor, sir, is enabling the circular economy for sanitation royal society grants from Cranfield in UK. The project brought together researchers and industrial partners, the Cranfield University UK, the Technical University of Malawi, Sanivation Umre, Umreand Trust, and, and Sanagi Kenya, who are working to enhance the achievement of Sustainable Development Goal 6.2. The overall aim was to build a model for the enabling environment for the circular economy sanitation system. A key achievement from the project was training of manual, manual pit MTS in Kibera Slam, Nairobi. The fourth project, Mr. Chancellor, sir, is scaling up of grid sanitation economic social research council, the ESRC UCRI. The project aims at scaling up of, of off-grid sanitation to unlock trajectories towards the development of sustainable off-grid sanitation systems. The project is ongoing, and it is funded by the University, I mean the Uni U European Social Research Council, that is the ESRC, and has brought together researchers from Cranfield University, UK, the Bangor University, uh, BU, the UK, that is UK, New York University, USA, University of Leeds, UK, University of Western Cape, University of Oregon in USA, and our very own, that is the Mary University of Science and Technology, Mass, Kenya, the State University of Haiti in Haiti, and the Catholic University of Peru, Peru. The project has supported five MSc students with two graduating students today. The fifth project is ja German Toilet Organization Water Sanitation and Hygiene Program, WASH program. In partnership with GTO, fully funded short course in WASH in emergencies ongoing, the project aims at collaborating with the Red Cross and World Health Organization for Services delivery in this human in this pro project in humanitarian context the sixth project i'm just about to finish is erasmus mundus international credit mobility program the mobility projects bring together a multidisciplinary team of researchers from MAST, that is our university here from aston and from jku Art, and university of eldoret universities the programs aim at imparting a holistic knowledge to Kenyan researchers on adopting circular economy across the Kenyan ecosystem through resource efficiency, waste management, using renewable sources of energy and social well-being. The final project I want just to say is Africa Water Association Citywide Inclusive Sanitation Project. In the year 2020, Dr. Joy Ringo was appointed as the Kenyan lead expert in the implementation of AFIA program, that is strengthening African Water Association and operators' capacity for the implementation of citywide inclusive sanitation in Africa, funded by Bill, Bill, Bill and uh, Melinda Gates Foundation. The project is being implemented in 14 African countries. The key objective is to build the capacity of AFWA members on citywide inclusive sanitation. And in Kenya, the cities involved in these programs are Nairobi, Kisumu, Nakuru, and Thika. Awards. In the year 2022, Dr. Joy Nyawira Ryungu received the IHE 2022 Alumni Impact Award. The award recognizes individuals who had made remarkable impact in water-related field and who, are, who have been role models for water professionals. Mr. Chancellor, sir, in the recognition of the use of her talents, this young researcher, academically speaking, this young innovator, innovator and as an organizer of multidisciplinary teams of experts, not only within Kenya, but globally, for the benefit of the country, the benefit of the continent, and the benefit of the global world, 
Meru University of Science and Technology does award Dr. Joy Ringu Chancellor's Research and Innovators Award 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, we can put our hands together as we welcome Dr. Joy Meru Ringu. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon you to present the Research and Innovation Award to J Dr. Joy Nyawira Ringu. I'll join you together with the Chair of Council. <clears throat> So Dr. Nyawira will receive a certificate, a very nice plaque, and a cash reward. Yes, I said cash reward. So we have a photo session. Congratulations, Dr. Joy. Congratulations, Madam. I'm sure you require security with the cash reward. A check is still money. <laughs> I'm told it's a check. So, we can put it up at a check. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to invite the Vice Chancellor to read the Meru uh, University of Science and Technology 10th Anniversary Citation. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I take this opportunity to read the citation for the Mary University of Science and Technology 10th Anniversary Citations. Mary University of Science and Technology MUST was originally Mary University College of Science and Technology, the MUST. But before that, it was a village polytechnic called Mekotec, established through a legal notice number 103 of 18th July 2008 as a constituent college of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, JKUAT. The university college admitted its pioneer students in the year 2009, who were 45 in number, we were very grateful to the late Marambi, our founding chair of council, who accommodated them in his home for some time because we didn't have a place to accommodate them. These students were enrolled in three degree programs, namely the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, that's the BACIT that I did chair the formation back in 1994 at JKUAT. The Bachelor of Business and Information Technology, BBIT, again, this we did establish in 1997 in JKUAT, and then the BCom, again in 1997. After successful inspection by Commission for University Education, the Mary University College of Science and Technology was awarded on 1st of March 2013 by His Excellency Honorable Mwai Kibaki does attaining status of full 
fully fledged university and renamed as Meru University of Science and Technology, MAST. Since its inception, our guest, MAST has continued to play a leading role in the development and expansion of opportunities for high education and research in agriculture, business, information technology, engineering, education, nursing, health sciences, P1 and applied sciences. And over the years, MAS is now well positioned to take a leading role in the emerging national agenda and international agenda as we seek to contribute positively to support education, innovation, technology, transfer and socioeconomic development of our country. Our emphasis on expanding opportunities in the STEAM disciplines, namely science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, will greatly contribute to the achievement of the Kenya Vision 2030. In this journey, we as workers in these universities and all our good stakeholders, we greatly recognize and appreciate the following. Number one, our government of Kenya, the great financial support, we have grown from those 49, 45 students to over almost 11,000 students. And this has been because of the support of our loving government. We really appreciate our government. Number two, there are some individuals that are always very quiet in this country. One that I would like to uh, tell you is Bishop Lawi Imatu. I really hope that he's around. Ambassador Mudaura, the ever quiet Ambassador Mudaura. He's a gentleman, a nice museum in this county called Eliud Matthew. Among the many founders, the danger of pronouncing names is that there are so many people who work in the main house in the sitting room, in the kitchen, and you may forget to recognize them, and they are the people who really have built this university. We celebrate you as we do celebrate our 10th year anniversary today. For the great reason, for the dream, the support that you have had, quietly and pushing this university to what it is today. The Jury Check Council of Hellas, you have seen very humble voices coming in when we are settled here. And uh, they donated the land, 540 acres, free. And these voices in the 60s, maybe in the 50s, they dreamt of a Makerere of Kenya. And that dream has lived with them even their successors, even the Wasses you have seen coming here, that Mary University is actually going to be the best university in the world, among the best. And Mr. Chancellor Sir, together with the, the CS, all the government people, all people present here, these Wasses are actually a beacon of this university. Whenever there are upheavals here and there, they are concerned. They call the vice chancellor. Sometimes they come here. Sometimes they meet themselves and their wisdom, the wise wisdom that they always give us together, has kept this university 10 years. And for that, was this, we recognize you and we celebrate you in this 10th year anniversary. Can we put our hands together for those who are We celebrate you, as this. Our very own. Dr. James Mwangi, for kindness, humility, wisdom, innovations, the way you move things. This place was a desert. And uh, Dr. James Mwangi chose to be requested the then President of Kenya, Mwai Kibaki, that if you want to make me a chancellor, I want a place which has nothing and uh, so that we can transform it together with the government. And it was a desert. 
And the first thing James Wangi said that any money that is supposed to be, to be given to him as a chancellor, yo weka tukua miti. And today we celebrate the beautiful campus. Whenever I'm stressed, I can walk around in the forest the other side and the stress just go out. We celebrate that we have, we actually, our forest cover is over 14%, above the national average. You can clap also for that, because we're above the national average, converting a desert into a forested area. We celebrate the great things, the selflessness of the Dr. James Mwangi. James Mwangi took family money over 100 million and did construct for us a state-of-the-art innovation center, incubation center. Basically, you know, where you can dream big with your academic discoveries and see how you can convert that into innovative products that can result into patterns and also go outside there. Those are the beacons, the benchmark of our RISE Directorate, Research, Innovation, Commercialization, and Extension. And for that, Dr. James Mwangi, we really, really celebrate you. You have been with us for 10 years, and if there's anything, there's anything the government can do for us, we do not want to lose James Mwangi. We want him to continue. Put your hands together. The founding University College Management and Council for your resilience, the work we have done here, it has not been easy, all of you, you are all here, we have invited quite a number of council members before that always pilot <laughs> this board when the government is away there, they are the government here and we really want to recognize the work you do. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, put our hands together as we appreciate God that has made this university really to grow. I also want to celebrate the club, the first employees, the 39, we call them the club of 39, of many University of Science and Technology, famously known as the club of 39, it has been 10 years of excellence. Thank you for the time and commitment you have shown the university. And for all our students, from those 45 up to today, all of you, universities are universities, number one, if they do teaching. Number two, they do research. Number three, they do outreach, impact. They do disseminate what they have learned in class and they have done research, the new knowledge, and they go outside there and tell the community it was worth it that you sponsored me in the university and this is what I can do. And it is, that is only possible because of you, the students, all the people, the students that have been here, otherwise will not have the university. Can you clap for all the students, including the graduates that are here? We celebrate you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the time and commitment you have shown all of you in the university, for all our stakeholders, all, I mean, not mention all, have forgotten the political leadership, especially in this county. Chancellor, when I came, you remember the governor then was His Excellency Kiraitu Murungi. He came here, we, didn't have, we had a lot of problem in the farm. He gave us a whole borehole. So even if there is drought here, we are able to grow crops in the farm. There was a lot of darkness in the Nchiru town, the, 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 the town, the, 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 the community had town there. The car growing of the road had not been done. And we did talk with the local MP together with the county government. Today, the whole of that place up to Kianjai is actually lit. And we really want to celebrate Dr. Mutunga. Thank you very much, our local MP, for the support. And also the current government the county government, led by Madame Kawira, together with the, the deputy governor who is here, I know he will give a chance to talk. We celebrate you the way you are always concerned with our university and the work that you have done. The same to all people, the, the MCA, the community leaders, everybody, we do celebrate you. For all these years, you have done a lot to better our university, 
and we will always be indebted for all your efforts and hardship. Not to forget our neighbors, the communities, you know, the Nchiri community, the Kianjai community, the squatters who used to be here and moved to the hill. You know, going up to Kemu, all of you, I think we are, because you always talk about our university, we celebrate you in the this 10th year anniversary day. Thank you all for your 10 years of dedicated service. May God bless you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon you to present the Mary University of Science and Technology 10th anniversary plaque to the, to the employee PF number one. It's called Nefat Njeru, our chief finance officer. Mr. Njeru is representing the current number of staff who are about 405 as the pioneer of the institution. He was, he is also among the Club 39 and we appreciate him. Um, let's have a photo session kindly. Let's have a photo session. The UMB, uh, our PS, our uh, CS, our uh, CS, kindly, PS, let's have a photo session. Our uh, MP, Dr. Mutonga, please join us. The Deputy Governor, please join the team for our photo session. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon you to cut the Mary University of Science and Technology 10th anniversary kick. Uh, you will be assisted by my Deputy Vice Chancellor AP, Dr. Chari Professor Charity Gichuki, Deputy Vice Chancellor Asa, Professor Turanira, and Chair of Council to cut the 10th anniversary kick. Please. That the team cuts the cake, the symbolic cutting of the cake. Oh, sorry, sorry. We are, they are cutting the cake that has the university logo and the, and the motto of the university, which is Foundation of Information. This cake marks the 10 years since the university was awarded the charter. We thank God and we celebrate these 10 years.
we have enough cake for everybody, so don't worry. We have enough cake for everybody. Take note of the conditional stimuli arising from the cake presence. All of us will have a cake, don't worry. The are coming round to serve you. Enjoy the cake. It's been 10 years. It's been 10 years.
are finishing in a few minutes. We finish this session in a few minutes. a taste of the cake and enjoyed yourself. We invite our Deputy Vice Chancellor Professor Simon Turanira to take us through the next session. Prof. Karimu. Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me now to invite the best graduates in every school during the 2021-2022 academic year to step forward and flank the best student in his address to the congregation. I'll read them per school. Kiprotich Arun, the best student, School of Education.
Kimuchai Emmanuel, School of Nursing. Joseph Owino, School of Business and Economics. Getao John Mugai, School of Health Sciences. Mudi Selina Mudoni, School of Computing and Informatics. Nicholas Kimeo Mutiso, School of Engineering and Architecture. Nsai Linet Usi, School of Pure and Applied Sciences. I am Kiprodich Aaron from the School of Education, Bachelor of Education Science, Physics and Chemistry Option. And on behalf of the graduating class of 2023, allow me to read the following speech. Dr. James Mwangi, Chancellor, Mary University of Science and Technology, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, other Cabinet secre uh, Secretaries present, the Principal Secretary, State Department for Higher Education and Research, Dr. Pet uh, Petris Muganda Inyangala, other Principal Secretaries, Honorable Senators, Honorable Governors, Honorable Members of National Assembly, led by Dr. John Mutunga, Chancellors of other universities, the Chair of Mary University, of Mary University Council, Dr. Jane Wangui Kiringai, Chairpersons of other university councils, Council members of Mary University of Science and Technology, Professor Romanas Odiambo, Vice Chancellor, Mary University of Science and Technology, Vice Chancellors and Principals of other universities and university colleges, all invited guests, management, my fellow graduates, staff, and students of Mary University of Science and Technology, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to thank you all for gracing this auspicious day, the day of our 10th graduation. Personally, as the first student on this day, I am elated beyond measure. Like all of you graduating here today, I can see the result of hard work and resilience. Truly, success comes to those who are willing to walk the talk. Congratulations, my class, the class of 2023. When I reported to this school as a young first year, I was green, naive, but curious. However, I was also elated because I had achieved the dream of joining an institution of higher learning, a feat many dream of but few achieve. I resolved that I was going to give it my all. I was going to work so hard that the world would notice. I set my goals, made my plan, and followed it through. So here I am, feeling very uh, proud to talk on behalf of my class. The continuing students listening to me today, I hope my story can inspire you to continue working hard. Opportunities like the one I have today are platforms that can catapult one into the next big thing. Please try and follow in my footsteps. To our parents, guardians, family and friends, thank you all for being supportive of our journey. Without you, we would not be where we are today.
to our esteemed lecturers, I want to thank you too for being our mentors, teachers, parents, friends, and playing whatever roles that you played depending on the prevailing circumstances. We recognize the role you played and will forever be indebted. To my fellow Christians, today we start a new journey as alumni of Mary University of Science and Technology. We have been equipped with the knowledge to not only seek jobs, but also become creators of jobs. Let us go out and showcase what Mary University has to offer the world. Let us also create and maintain good networks that can help uplift one another. Let us be our brother's keepers. If you are at a place where there is an opportunity for an alumni of Mary University of Science and Technology, do not hesitate to recommend a comrade. For it is said, a candle does not lose its brightness by lighting another candle. As I conclude, I want to recognize the work of the Mary University of Science and Technology Management in creating a conducive atmosphere for us students over the years when I was a student here. Thank you all for gracing our occasion. God bless Mary University of Science and Technology. God bless Kenya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We request for a photo session with the best performing students. Uh, the Chancellor, kindly. The, our CS, our PS, very kindly, sir. And Dr. Motonga, our area MP. The last graduation we had the girl child dominating, but today you realize a heavy presence of the boy child. I don't know what happened. I'm told it shows healthy competition. So well done, young people. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I take this opportunity to, uh, to invite the representative, Meru University of Science and Technology alumni, to address the congregation. The alumni speech. I'm Dr. Jesida Kirimi. Uh, the Chancellor Sir, Mary Investor of Science and Technology, Dr. James Mwangi. The Cabinet Secretary for, Secretary for Education, Mr. Isegel Machagu. The PS, State Department for Higher Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice Mugala, Mugada Inangala. Other principal secretaries present. Chancellors of other universities. The Chairperson of the Mary University of Science and Technology Council. Dr. Jean Wangui Kirengai, members of Mary University of Science and Technology Council, Vice Chancellor, Mary University of Science and Technology, Professor Romanas Odiambo, Vice Chancellors of our universities, other universities present, Deputy Vice Chancellors, Principals of Colleges, Deans of Faculties and Directors, Directors of Institutes, Lecturers and Staff, Fellow Alumni graduates, parents and guardians, invited guests, 
ladies and gentlemen. I'm humbled to, to represent the Mary University of Science and Technology Alumni Fraternity in this auspicious 10th graduation ceremony. To the graduates, your graduation today is culmination of a long journey of hard work and excellent academic milestone in your lives. May I remind you of the day you reported to the university and gathered here for matriculation. It, it, it appears such a long journey and a mean feat to accomplish. However, we are gathered here today again to witness your, you receive your degrees. Indeed, a long journey starts a single step and ends on a single step. Kudos, graduates, for making it to the 10th graduation list. We celebrate the success of your hard work, the dedication of your lecturers, support of your parents, and sponsors for starting with you all through along the tough academic journey. You have fulfilled your dream and joined in keeping the flag of Mary University of Science and Technology fly high. It is our sincere hope that Mary University of Science and Technology has integrated into you the 21st century skills and competencies required in the current world competitive labor market. In addition, your education should not head here. Quoting from the right voice once of President Nelson Mandela, who said once, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. We must understand that we are living in a new world, under the fourth industrial revolution, where we must look around, reflect and submit our skills and competencies with information literacy. Communication and collaboration, critical thinking and problem solving, creativity and innovation and self-efficacy. This should be your drivers as a tree as you stream the world of work. It is my humble duty, uh, you that know, the University of Science and Technology will forever mean your heart. Indeed, today you enter into the alma mater roles of this great university. Let your future contribute into your field of work. Always reflect background at the university. We urge you to be good ambassadors of the university by presenting and marketing a wonderful image, contributions, programs, and innovations. Together, we can. The university continues to offer competitive postgraduate programs, and therefore, I welcome you back for the postgraduate studies as to share your aspirations for making this university haven of research, academic excellence, and innovation in the world. I'm happy to report that the Mary University of Science and Technology Alumni Association is now a registered entity with the Digital Societies. We are proud of this achievement. We are now looking forward within, within the year to get together and share ideas for continuous improvement of our association. To our esteemed graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I conclude my speech by reminding you that you must live your life to the fullest by fearing God, exercising the skills and competence of gained, and always remember forward ever, backward never. For those who are keeping back, for those who are looking back, and procrastinate, while those who are, around, those are forward look, are looking towards a building a wonderful and fulfilling career. Mr. Tanjala Star, I, I now welcome the graduates in Mary University Science and Technology Alumni Association. Our graduates take your position to the economy and be progressive, honest, innovative, and productive, and flow back to your, to your university. God bless you, Mary University. God bless you all. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I take this opportunity now to invite the Vice Chancellor to address the congregation. Vice Chancellor. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to recognize some of our guests that have joined us today in these celebrations. I'd like to recognize Dr. Mutunga, who is my friend, and our MP, the Tigana West constituency. We also have Professor Peter Murungi, 
who is the Vice Chancellor of Taraka University. We do have Dr. M.T. Agutu from Kenya Vet Veterinary Board. We have Professor Francis Adwal, Vice Chancellor, Technical University of Kenya. We have quite a number of friends, Collins Nkongu from Equity Bank, Eastern and Central. We have by the way, there's no protocol here, it's just the way your name was captured. We have uh, uh, our governor represented by the deputy governor, Mr. Mutuma, deputy governor, Meru County. We have uh, Dr. Mungania George from Meru County's office, governor's office. We have Anthony Imanera, the national chair Kenya University Student Organization. We have Professor Dulaja Galgalo, who was a former chair of council and he actually participated in my recruitment here from Central Bank. We have quite a number of our elders, but I'll just mention a few elders from the juries. We have uh, Mr. Josphat Murangiri, the Secretary General, Jury Cheke. We have uh, Washington Mbaya Mutamia, Secretary General, Programs. We have quite a number. There also, there's also Benjamin Mugambi, again, the Deputy Secretary General, Operations. We have Martin Gitobu, Equity Bank, Meru, and so Nancy also from Meru. I have I've seen James Njeru from Equity Bank, Nkubu. We have my friend Paul Mungai from the Ministry of Education. We have uh, Professor Ken Mugambi from Kenu, our neighbor. We really support one another. Thank you for coming. We have Lino Katera, the National Chairman. We have Mr. Alphonse Kamwara, the Vice Chairman. I think this could be for the, our community leadership. We have Stephen Kiraite, the Treasurer for, for our community leadership, the juries. If I forget you, and you are here, please understand you are welcome. Maybe when I come back later, I'll get the name and read it. Our chief guests are Dr. James Mwangi, who is the Chancellor of Meru University of Science and Technology, the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, the PS State Department for you, Higher Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice Muganda in Yangala, uh, the Chancellor of Meru, I think I've done that, the Chairperson of Meru University of Science and Technology, the Chancellors of Sisters Universities present, the Meru County Government present here, our very own, the local MP, Dr. Mtunga, the chairpersons of councils of other universities, our elders, the juries, all of you present here, the vice chancellors of other universities present, the Mary University of Science and Technology Council members who are here, and the principals of university colleges, members of university councils, members of university management boards and senate, the Mary University of Science and Technology staff, the Student Association of Mary University Council, that is Samu Council, our graduates, the mass class of 2023, and your families, friends, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to our 10th graduation ceremony of the Mary University of Science and Technology and also the celebration of our 10th year anniversary. Today, 
as we celebrate the graduating class of 2023, I would like to tell you, dear graduates, that this is your day. Each and everyone gathered here today is joyful and proud of you. Congratulations to all of you. I would also like to thank the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Hon. Ezekiel Machogo, for really taking his time to be here today as we celebrate the mass class of 2023. Sir, so we are proud of you. I think we have learned a lot from you as a university. You are decisive. You are action-oriented. To our founding chancellor, Dr. James Mwangi, thank you for the required solutions. Thank you for the servant leadership and the humility with which you have steered this university for 10 years. We are proud of you. I do recognize the presence of the newly appointed University Council, my employer. Welcome to your university. Feel at home in this University of Excellence. Our chief guest, this graduation ceremony is special because it does coincide with the 10th anniversary of Mary University of Science and Technology since award of charter on 1st March 2013. Over the past 10 years, the university has experienced tremendous growth in student population, especially to what you always wanted, that should be around 10,000, and we are actually there now. The number of academic research and outreach experience, we are thankful to the mighty God for this far as he has taken us. Ladies and gentlemen, as a University of Excellence, we celebrate the collective spirit of resilience that both the students and the lecturers have shown. Resilience, times of happiness like today, we are all happy. Resilience, even when we have turbulence like what we have gone through in the last two weeks. But the strength of this university is that we are able to come back together and stand and continue the pursuit of the excellence, the dreams that our great fathers had for this university. And for that, we thank you. We were all forced to take difficult decisions of social distancing during COVID-19, restricting and sometimes ceasing movements and meetings, disruptions of face-to-face -face and practical lessons, yet you persisted and succeeded. And today, dear graduates, you know you have been into this all because I remember we admitted you in around 2018, 2019, and the COVID stuck. We are gathered here to celebrate your resilience, to celebrate your determination, to celebrate the pursuit of the person that has made sure that today you can graduate. And so we join you in really celebrating your academic achievement today. It is a moment of pure joy. So as we celebrate this great achievement, we also witness your adaptability to changing fortunes, environments, and times. I sincerely believe that this is the value package that you are taking to the nation, to the world, after this graduation. As you move on to the next stage of life, I wish you all the best. But more importantly, I do urge you to carry on the collective spirit of resilience, putting your eyes that the world needs you more than you need the world. And therefore, be a best global steward wherever you'll be. Today, we celebrate our 10th anniversary, and it does give me great pleasure to witness the university exponential growth as a university of science and technology, the world looks to our programs and graduates to foster an equivocal change. Life is truly based on the choice we make. Learn to distinguish and choose the right thing to believe in and work for. And at times, ladies and gentlemen, the right decision will not necessarily be the easiest way out. Integrity comes in at this point. 
most of the time, I'm not a young person. The academics, I have over 35 years in academic year. And most of the time, the cause of leadership, the cause of integrity is the last one that come and the truth come to be known. So as you go out, always pay your ears to the call of leadership, the call of work, and focus on integrity, on the person, on excellence, on innovations, virtues, and professional virtues that we have as core values in this university. And as a university, ladies and gentlemen, my dear graduates, we have faced trials and challenges. I want to greatly appreciate all the members of staff. Without you, you are wrong. Without all the, I mean, without all the things you have done, all these achievements that we are trying to celebrate in the 10th year could not have been realized. Students do not just come here. They come here to have their lives shaped, to have a university experience that can make them global leaders. You and I are here to support that vision of this great university. And so my staff, I celebrate you in this 10th year and, uh, anniversary. Uh, Mary University of Science and Technology is also of important to our neighboring community. We value you. You create an environment. Our chancellor and our minister, we honor you. But it's important that these 11,000 students we celebrate, it's important to note that we only accommodate 950 students. The rest, the community takes care of them. And for that, we really celebrate the conducive working environment, the home environment that you have given to our students. So we celebrate you as we celebrate the 10th year uh, uh, anniversary. Mary University of Science and Technology is very, very happy also to really celebrate together with the political leadership. I think I talked about it. What we do here on a daily basis does affect the quality of graduates joining the market industry. Our work has in building the community around us and this institution greatly plays strengthening the social and economic welfare of the country. It is important that one of the very important directorate that we have in this university is called RISE. That is RISE Research, Innovation, Commercialization, and Extension, where the outreach is. And as we go forward, this is one of the directorate that we really want to strengthen so that it encompasses all the, the things that happen in the university, the teaching, research, and community outreach. Uh, our work helps in building the community around us, and this institution greatly plays into strengthening the social and economic welfare of the country and our county here. As I come to work on daily basis, I reflect, I reflect on such issues. My focus remains the same, to work towards achieving and maintaining continued success for Mary University of Science and Technology, the university we love so much, as we always say. We celebrate you, the graduates, in line with the theme of this year's graduation, embracing science, technology, and innovation for sustainable development. Indeed, we are proud and convinced that what you have achieved today will allow you to play a productive role in Kenya and beyond. As you may have experienced, Mary University of Science and Technology has, a continued, has continued to invest in world-class infrastructure to support cutting aid, teaching, learning, research, innovation, and outreach activities, as well as community services. Several of innovative research initiatives have put mass on the global map with our researchers and faculty members receiving international awards. These are rep rep replicable and commercially commercially viable solution developed by our researchers and you, our graduate today. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I want to celebrate you for being part of an international workforce. In the recent years, Mary University of Science and Technology, MAS, that is as we normally call it, 
has forged and developed strategic partnership with several world leading academic and research institutions with view to internationalize our academic programs. And so we have introduced things like micro credentialing, things like articulations where you can run here and then later on you move to another institution locally or outside and they do recognize the credits, the academic credits that you have accumulated. And these are the tenets of a 21st century university. And so graduates are so lucky to have been in such an institution. So this process has seen several of our academic programs peer reviewed internationally to allow university to university students and faculty exchange. And that promote the global student mobility, which is the real thing today. Currently, our data science, our communication, sometimes the data science called data analytics, communication and journalism, nursing and TV students can choose to continue their studies at our partner universities in Canada and in Netherlands. Moreover, throughout our, through our students' exchange program, with our partner institutions, nursing students have an opportunity to proceed for placement in Canada from next year. As a university, we will continuously work to create pathways and opportunities for our students to thrive. We also have opportunities for further education to upscale professionals in the field. There are several high-impact short professional courses being rolled out through the Center for Continuing Education and our International Liaison Office. We invite you to visit these places and to explore partnership and collaboration opportunities. The Mary University of Science and Technology community thanks you for allowing us to be part of your dream. We are now linked forever. As you open up new pages in your life, cherish the memories made in the university but more importantly, uphold the values we have instilled in you, respect, hard work, selflessness, innovativeness, integrity, dedication, and service to the community, changing the world, touch, touching people's heart, and really transforming communities. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to introduce the new council before the, the chair of council uh, addresses us. Chair, we have a new council, and I'll just call, the separate, uh, call them the move forward. Our new chair of council is Dr. Jane Kiringai. I have not known them so much, but she's an economist. I think she has a PhD in economics. Uh, we have Janet Afande Ominde, very first. And then we have Mr. Martin Kinoti. We have Mr. Jacob Kuaba. This maybe has not arrived. We just got the list here yesterday. We have Lucy Rimanto. Don Kate. Then we have Silva, Sylvester Kibiwot Kinyor, I think he's an engineer, electrical engineer. Then uh, we also have two government representatives. The National Treasury is represented by Madame Quena. And then our PS State Department High Education and Research is represented by Frederick Ndambuki. For now, I think the PS is here, so it will be there. Chancellor, I would like to request you, if you don't mind, together with the CS, that we can come and take a picture together. I am their secretary.
Thank you. That's a photo session with the new university council together with the chancellor and the CS Minister of Education as well as the PS. Thank you very much. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call the chair, Dr. Jane, to come and address the congregation. The Chancellor, Mary University of Science and Technology, Waziri, Honorable Ezekiel Mashogu, PS, Dr. Beatrice Inyangara, our Member of Parliament, Dr. Jen Matunga. All the council members of the new council, our vice chancellor, Professor Romana Batiambo, other vice chancellors present, all invited guests, the deputy governor, management, graduates and students, staff, and members of MAST, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I hope it's still morning. Let me start on my own behalf and on behalf of the new council. Just acknowledge with a lot of humility and gratitude this new appointment. Waziri, we don't take this for granted. It's a big honor, and we're here to serve. We're coming to serve in this university on the backdrop of some turbulence, but also thankful that that we want to believe has been resolved. And we listened to you today. We heard you. We heard you in the skit that you presented. It was loud and clear. We're here to listen to you. We're here to work with you and to work with the community with a lot of humility and a lot of respect. We also acknowledge the work that the Chancellor of this university has done. And we understand that his time is coming to an end but we also want to take this opportunity and ask Waziri, with a lot of humility, that you give us an opportunity to work with him during this transition. It's going to be of enormous importance to us. And it's important, and it's going to be the major breakout as we transition with the new council. I also want to believe this 10th anniversary is a great opportunity for us to reset from the turbulence. And so, for, to the graduating class, I do not think there is a more emotional moment than the day you, you graduate. So it's a, it's a great day that we have gathered here once again to witness the great achievements of the young men and women of this country. God has been gracious to us had seen us through a very difficult COVID pandemic season. And now we can physically assemble for this graduation 
reception and we remain grateful. Congratulations to you all, the graduating class of 2023. Fongela sana. Fongela sana. I also want to take the, this opportunity to congratulate the entire MAST fraternity. You have worked tirelessly to ensure that those that are graduating today are ready for the world of work awaiting them. We honor you for your devotion to nurturing this young generation of Kenyans, and we thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation theme of this year is embracing science and technology and innovation for sustainable development. The world over, individuals and communities have made great strides towards reaping the benefits afforded them through the application of science and technology and innovation. We cannot be left behind, particularly as a university of science and technology. And what we had today is a demonstration that indeed we're leading from the front. This is evident from the restructured curriculum, the CBC or competency-based curriculum that has been rolled out by the government. This gives a clear indication of how critical it is for all of us to think about our development in new ways, to think of creative and innovative ways to tackle our problems at a personal, community, and national level, and from even at the global level. The Council recognizes that MAST University is on the forefront of this development. During the pandemic, rather than letting students wait to resume classes physically, the university instituted online learning and supported the staff and students in the process. Thank you for your foresight and good work. Ladies and gentlemen, the government, through various ministries and institutions, has supported the work of this great university, and we're most grateful. To all our partners, donors, sponsors, stakeholders, well-wishers, alumni, the community, parents and guardians, we thank you for your support and tireless efforts to ensure this institution starts tall, not only for this country, but regionally and globally. To the management of the Meru University of Science and Technology, we would not be here today had you not done your part. The assembled graduates are a testament of your commitment to quality and excellence. Thank you for not only creating a conducive environment for learning, but also inspiring the students to be more and to tap into their potentials. To a graduating class, the new doors are open to you. Embrace what life brings. Never forget that your education and life experiences at this university has equipped you well for what lies ahead. Do not be afraid to take on the challenges be innovative and make your lives great. Let me say that you are a fortunate generation because you have learned in a university of technology and the future of work, the future of work is founded on science and technology. So you are a fortunate generation. So my parting shot to you is that yes, today is an emotional moment for you. It's always emotional for all of us. Probably the next emotional moment will be for those of you that get married after this. But this is an emotional moment. But with time, you're going to be out there in the job market. And you're going to find a thousand others like you who are on the queue. But what is going to set you apart as graduates of a university of technology? This is my parting shot. If you can't find a job, find a problem and get a solution. God bless you and God keep you as you move forward. So thank you very much. It is now my humble duty to invite 
your member of parliament, Honorable John Mutunga, who is a great friend for us in the, of us in the family, to address you. Karibu <laughs> Bwana. Thank you very much, Chairperson of the University Council, the Chancellor, Dr. Mwangi, our CS Education, the PS, the Vice Chancellor, and let me see all protocols observed because I am very poor at protocols. <laughs> so let me respect all the protocols that are here today. And especially, let me mention the Jorinteke elders. This day, we are grateful to be here, grateful to God to have given us this day, and a great occasion for that matter. I'm happy to be here as one of you, Mr. Chancellor Sir, when you were campaigning last year. Most of these students were my campaigners. They helped me out. Voluntarily, I did not invite them, but they formed teams. They were always there, and they were singing for us, and they got a lot of votes for me. Thank you very much. I've never had an occasion to thank you. I am a friend of the university because my home is right here. My home is about 400 to 500 meters from here. So this is my village. In that case, whatever happens to the university happens to my home. If the university is happy, we are very happy. If the university is upset, we are very upset. We are here today to celebrate a great day that has taken an effort from the university administration, an effort from the teaching staff, an effort from the students, and the other stakeholders of the university. We are here to say thank you and congratulations, graduates of the day, because you've done a good job. And the most important thing is to finish well. You have finished well. Congratulations. The growth and development of this university, uh, Mr. Chancellor Sir, is apparent. You've seen many things happen here. You've seen buildings come up and complete. We have seen many students come here and I want to imagine that students do not come to do three or four courses. I believe there has been an immense growth in the number of courses that we offer at this university at various levels, at certificate level, diploma level, undergraduate level and postgraduate courses. I'm sure today we shall also witness some of those courses graduating. I want to say that we are happy when development occurs at the university and especially if you grow in numbers because numbers impact upon ourselves as villagers in this university. The numbers that have grown from around 4,000 to now 12, 11,000 plus and still counting and great improvement even in our society. We feel you. Mr. Chancellor, we do the much we can with the little we have. When it came to responding to development in Tigania West, I put university in my list of priorities. We've done a few things that are noteworthy. There is a road that emerges from the, made the Tamak Road and goes round the university. That road is under the county government. But I took it up because I wanted the students to have better access. Because I know most of the time, they use means of transport that require a better road. If God so wills, and I believe we will, and we get funding for tarmacking our roads, it is one of the roads that we are thinking about. Direct, uh, uh, Mr. Chancellor Sir, when we got an opportunity to put street lighting in Tigania West, this town was number one in the priority list of nine and we started here. When I got an opportunity to link different towns in Tigania West, we started here to Kianjai. And we are moving on. We shall still, we have still requested for more lighting to get into the various places that you walk through at night. 
and to extend towards Kuru, because I know some of you also leave those sides. Mr. Chancellor, when the Vice Chancellor was speaking about tree planting, he forgot something. In 2019, the National Tree Planting Day, we celebrated it at this university, where with the help of the students and workers in this university, we planted more than 10,000 trees. Mr. Chancellor, this is a university to us is not an institution implanted into the community. We look at this our son, as our sons and daughters. We look at the, at the staff of this university as stakeholders in development. And we are happy to be with you. The university has supported the community in a variety of ways. And that is why we would like to remain peaceful. We would like to remain good partners and would like to remain for the right so that we may develop each other. As you acquire knowledge and education, we would also like to be developing on the other frontiers through a lot of peace. The housing program in Tiganya West has been stimulated by this university. In fact, we are challenged because quite a number of students live outside here. And we are looking forward to bringing together stakeholders to consider doing more than housing for the students in the precincts of the university. To our students graduates today, we want to thank you for having completed your studies. We want to thank this university for having considered, considered to take up the theme of being, uh, 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 to, to take up the theme of innovation, the research, innovation, uh, commercialization, and an extension. When I look at that theme, it tells me that we, this is a university that is taking people places. We get knowledge and use knowledge to do research. We innovate through that research. Then we need to move to commercialization. So if you can link up that, if you can link it up that way, then we have a university that is going to create many jobs in this country. And this is attested by what we witnessed this morning. And I would like to take one minute to thank Dr. Joy Nyawera Diongo, personally, because I've witnessed her work and we have participated in her, in her projects. We came to see what she was doing sometimes, but it was impressive work. I'm happy that it has impacted the world at large. Some of the recent issues that have occurred, Mr. Chancellor, are noteworthy. But we are happy that the CS, the owner of Machogu, was able through the, the, to convey the government decision in very record time to do the right thing so that the university gets back on track. We are happy for the decision, and as neighbors, we are getting a little bit worried that the university things are getting out of hand. Through your effort, um, CS Machogu, this, this occasion has taken place. Through your effort, Everybody will be happy today. I want to call upon every stakeholder in this university to consider peace as the optimum of development at this point in time. After you released your communication on a CS, I had an occasion to meet, and I was empowered then to meet with the management of this university and the students, I mean the staff unions of the university. We are at an eight hour closed door meeting at Nanyuki. And we agreed on a number of things that were disturbing everyone in this community. So I believe as you live today, you are living a very united university. People are forthright and ready to continue working together. I want to thank you for that particular decision and for the effort of putting together a council in record time. In two days, we had a complete council. I guess we were wondering whether we are going to have a void, but now there is no void. Finally, let me thank everyone who has, been, who has come here today. And welcome you to Tigania West. In Tigania West, we like visitors a lot. And we like making friends. And more importantly, we like keeping friends. We make friends, but we like to keep you as our friends. Those who are living today, Please impact the world. Take your science 
and innovation to places that it has not reached. Let us partner together with our government to create jobs, because Kenyans need jobs. We pray that you get placement as soon as possible, because I believe the economy is opening and it will impact on you as soon as possible. Once you are there, continue impacting the world by responding to the needs of those who are new, near you. With those very few remarks, uh, Mr. San Chancellor Asaya, I thank everyone for being here and for having a great occasion. Thank you. Uh, it's now my duty and honor to invite the PS, or the Deputy Governor, sorry, the Deputy Governor of Meru, who is going to be representing the Governor of Meru, Mr. Doedingia, will speak on behalf of the Governor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mutunga, Area MP for Tigania West. Uh, the, our chief guest, who is also the Chancellor for Meru University for Science and Technology, Dr. James Mwangi, uh, the CS for Minister of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, and your PS, the Area MP, Dr. Mutunga, the Chair, Meru University Council, Dr. Jane Keringai, um, all the dignitaries, present and scholars, the Jorincheke National Council of Elders present, who donated uh, this lad. I remember my late uh, dad, the Paul Twedingia was the chairman then, may the Lord rest his soul in internal peace. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and our graduates, good afternoon. First, on behalf of Her Excellency, Honorable Bishop Kawira Mwangaza, may I welcome our chief guests and the CS and occasion and all the invited guests and also parents and guardians to Meru County. Karibuni sana to Meru County. Secondly, may I commend the swift action that was taken by the uh, government through the CS and occasion of reinstating the Vice Chancellor of this university and also restoration of peace because Bwana Waziri, for those three or two days, Meru was in chaos. And by reinstating the VC, we are now enjoying this peace that you can experience at this moment. As Meru County government, we are collaborating with the Meru University for Science and Technology, the VC, Prof. Romanas Odiambo, and his team have visited our office not once, not twice, a number of times, coming to look for our ways, and also inviting us to this university so that we can chat the way forward together as the community and also in the area of, uh, of research and we are here to commit ourselves as the Meru County uh, government that we are going to support the leadership of this university and also work together. Now to the message from Her Excellency, the Governor of Meru County. It is with great pleasure that I join Meru University of Science and Technology Fraternity in this auspicious occasion of this year's graduation ceremony with the theme, Embracing Science, Technology and Innovation for Sustainable Development. As we celebrate 
the academic success of the graduates who have worked tirelessly in their studies to make this day a reality. I want to most sincerely thank the government of, for the continued support towards effective management and administration of the institution. In the same vein, I appreciate the various partners who have continued to provide the necessary collaboration and synergy towards augmenting education and training for optimal uh, actualization of the vision and mission of this wonderful university. The world we are living in is on an ever-dynamic trajectory in the socio-economic spectrum of the populace, and the needs and challenges of yesteryears seldom fit in today's realities. The combined effects of socio-economic, political, cultural, and climatic factors in this 21st century calls for incessant innovation and creativity in the approaches we employ to meet these challenges. This calls for proactive as opposed to reactive planning of programs and projects aimed at not only addressing the needs and aspirations of our people, but also ensuring that there is optimal utilization of resources for posterity. The Global Sustainable Development Goals the Africa Agenda 2063 and the Kenya Vision 2030, among other such visions, aptly capture these modern realities. It is against this background that the science and technology subsector emerges as a major player in this socioeconomic facet of our lives. I am pleased to note that Mary University of Science and Technology has continuously adopted various approaches to equip the learners with the requisite skills, knowledge, and attitudes to meet the demands of the market. This has elevated this relatively young institution to a pedestal of one among equals in this country, region, and by extension, internationally. My government is committed to continue supporting education through provision of education enhancement fund, that is bursary, as we continue to discharge our constitutional mandate and ensure our young people are equipped with modern skills to productively contribute to the socioeconomic transformation of our nation. In addition, we have continued to collaborate and cooperate with Mary University of Science and Technology for actualization of the set goals and objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, it is instructive to note that the aspirations and the dreams of our people can only be realized when the leadership at all levels effectively mounts strategies and approaches that put the interest of the common man at the center. This is so because when the majority of our populace is uplifted economically and socially, the net effect is overall cohesion, tranquility, and happiness. This is why my rallying mantra is making Meru happy. Through effective socioeconomic empowerment of all and sadri, and particularly the downtrodden hoi polloi. I also encourage the graduates to put their best foot forward as they join the world of work and utilize every available opportunity to showcase their skillful dexterity in their various areas of spe specialization as well as applying the soft skills they have acquired during their training so as to propagate the good name of this great institution. May the Almighty God bless Mary University, may the Almighty God bless um, Meru County, and may the Almighty God bless our lovely country, Kenya. Thank you, our Chancellor.
Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to invite the Principal Secretary, State Department for Higher Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice Muganda Nyangala, to address the congregation. Thank you. The Chancellor, Mary University of Science and Technology, a little up, Dr. James Mwangi, our Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu. The County Governor, Bishop Kawira Mangaza, ably represented by the Deputy Governor, Mr. Mtuma. Our Member of Parliament, Honorable Dr. John Mtunga. Members of the University Council, led by Dr. Jen Kiringai, members of other university councils present, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Romanos Odiambo, other Vice Chancellors present, Mary University of Science and Technology Fraternity, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm profoundly happy to be with you here on this auspicious occasion of your 10th graduation. My dear graduates, I see your large handprint, a mark of success written all over the walls of Meru University. I thank you for making this piece of history and I'm happy to be a part of it. I also want to recognize, in a very special way, the enormous work done by the Chancellor, University Council, Senate, University Management, staff, parents, and the community at large. It is your unwavering support and sacrifices that has enabled this university to nurture and produce the array of talents that was displayed a while ago and which we are celebrating. When I look at you, I see future scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, artists, mathematicians, and many more. My hearty congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as a government, we are committed to empowering the youth and actualizing the demographic dividend. This is why we remain relentless in our pursuit of the highest standards of the quality of education, challenges notwithstanding. It is a responsibility that we hold so dear and will always strive for. I want to reassure you that Mary University of Science and Technology remains a very close partner in this respect. It is a passion of knowledge, innovative research, and a key agent of social transformation. The contribution of this university to our national development priorities, the African Union Agenda 2063, as well as our international commitments as passed in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals is commendable. And a bit of that has been demonstrated by the award, the Chancellor's Award. Mr. Chancellor Sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely no doubt that our graduates have what it takes, the knowledge, the skills and the experiences to unlock unlimited possibilities in an ever-changing knowledge economy and the fourth industrial revolution. I therefore urge you, dear graduates, to hold your heads high because you have been adequately prepared to face the world with boldness and to create opportunities for yourselves and others around you. Be proactive adaptive and entrepreneurial and above all 
uphold your values uplift each other always and you will thrive i am confident that we shall be reading your success stories again and again please don't let us down i thank you god bless you and god bless mary university of science and technology it is now my singular pleasure to welcome our cabinet secretary honorable ezekiel machogu to address you thank you the chancellor of meru university the principal secretary directorate of higher education my friend the area member of parliament john mutunga your excellency the deputy governor of meru county the vice chancellor of this university the chairperson of meru university council and all the members of the council the other five chancellors here present the neri the meru family all the professors present the graduates the parents the guardians and each and every one of us good afternoon good afternoon once again amujambo thank you very much first before i go through my speech i want to convey the very sincere regards and the greetings of his section and the president of the republic of kenya dr william samai ruto because when we spoke and i told him that i was coming here for the 10th graduation ceremony he told me to pass over his greetings to you mopokea salam ya rais wa kenya thank you very much mr chancellor sir i am delighted to be here and to join you in this momentous occasion of the 10th graduation ceremony and also the 10th anniversary of this university may i take this opportunity to congratulate the graduates for their singular achievement that we are celebrating today today is a significant milestone in a journey that has taken you through various levels of education and ultimately to the coveted gates of this great university today marks the culmination of your hard work focus and dedication to learning and research the milestone that the graduates attained today has been made possible by the support of many prayers i could therefore like to recognize and appreciate the role that the university leadership staff parents and guardians are playing in nurturing you the graduating class of this year i thank and commend you all for the job well done many of the graduates here today are set to begin a new chapter of their lives by entering the job market i want to assure you that the education and the training you have received has prepared you adequately for the new life that you are about to begin you will have the opportunity of using the valuable set of skills knowledge and experiences that you have acquired to better our society nationally regionally and globally you are graduating at a time when the world is facing unprecedented challenges such as climate change insecurity and the pattern of disease and the hunger among others these challenges call on you to use your knowledge and training to find practical creative and competitive solutions indeed the team of this year's graduation is embracing science technology and innovation for sustainable development It resonates well with the government's commitment to net science technology and innovation as key and necessary for sustainable development it is also a rallying call to you to leverage on technology to champion innovations that help to enhance the quality of livelihoods for our people the kenya kwanza administration 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, recognized the, recognized the indispensable role of education in transforming the individual, the society, and the nation. It is for this re very reason that one of the very far steps that the selection and the President of the Republic of Kenya took was to appoint the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform. The Working Party will soon present recommendations that will help, will help us initiate appropriate reforms that will reposition our higher education sector and enhance its profile and the growth for recognition. Let me emphasize that the ultimate goal of this government is to ensure that the education sector functions optimally and that it re responds effectively to the demands of the labor market. This will be achieved by ensuring that everyone has access to quality education and that our educational institutions remain globally competitive. I also want to assure you that my ministry is confronting the challenges that the university subsector is facing in a deliberate, consolidative and inclusive manner. We are confident that the challenges facing our universities are not insurmountable, but we must work together to find a lasting solution to address them. As a government, we will do our part in ensuring that there is an enabling and a suitable legal and a policy environment, environment. We also will con continue to support the universities with the current fiscal framework. And I understand from the chairman the other day, I think about two or three weeks ago, the government released 2.7 billion in the form of IR own education board, we are yet to release more, but by the next, the coming week, we should be able to release more so that those who have not been able to access these loans can be able to access them. On their part, universities must also re engineer their operations. University management should develop and promote sound and effective systems of governance and they use resources prudently. Universities should be run in strict, strict conformity with the law and other relevant instruments. Universities should also develop innovative ways of attracting students locally and abroad. Additionally, productive partnerships with the other institutions and the partners will be of a great resource. Moving forward, we want to feel the impact of our universities not only through graduates, but also through research and innovations that provide homegrown solutions to the challenges we face as a country and as a region. I know that there have been a few challenges at this university in the past few weeks. I thank all the stakeholders in the forum for promptly addressing the challenges and focusing on the bigger picture to ensure that this university stays focused on its goal pursuing academic and research excellence. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it gives me great pressure to announce that I have appointed a new council of very able women and men who will chart on a new strategic direction for this great university. The council will be chaired by, Jen, by Dr. Jane Kringai, one who had distinguished herself even the time she was chairperson of Commission for Revenue Allocation. So I have no doubt that combining efforts with the other actors and with the guidance of the Chancellor of this university, they will be able to take this university to another level. The other council members are Chanet Afande, Afando Mindi, Martin Kinoti, Chaco Bokwaba, Rusin Manto, Sylvester Kinyol, uh, among others. This new gender parents team brings together a rich mix of skills and experience that will provide visionary leadership to steer the university to greater heights. As a ministry, 
we had at your disposal and we will provide you with all the necessary support you need to fulfill your role. And going forward, uh, Chancellor Sir, I give you assurance that as a ministry we have able women and men and we will be very careful in the people we appoint. The process will be very, very qualitative the way and the same manner in which we have done for this university is what is going to apply in all other universities in Kenya so that we have people in the councils who can be able to serve and give their very best. I thank the outgoing members of council for their contribution to this university and wish them well for uh, in their future. As I conclude, I had the graduates to be at the forefront of entrenching the sustainability of this institution. You have the unique first-hand experience and the privilege of knowing that what can be done to help Mary University of Science and Technology grow from strength to strength. I call upon, upon the alumni, continuing students, students, staff and the community at large to work closely with management and the council to save the next phase of this university to the university we all want. A university that makes a great difference in this country and the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you and I thank you. <laughs> Two remarks. Chancellor, I thank you because each and every one of us in this country knows you as a great Kenyan who has made tremendous contribution in the education sector and the other sectors of our economy. We know what you have done in this university for the last 10 years, of course, with the other actors who have equally contributed into making Mary University to be a great institution that it is today. We would encourage uh, that this period, even though your term is expiring, the two term, term uh, which is five year, five year, that for some time you will be able to guide and work closely with the new council and also the vice uh, chancellor of this university uh, for at least some time before I have requested you because we would also like to have your experience, your contribution elsewhere, not only in one of our other universities, but in our se other sectors of this economy. I wish you well, Ms. Miwa and all of us, in what you did in handling the situation that we were in the other week. Personally, I was moving around the country, and when you, we knew what was happening, we had to suspend whatever was happening and I want to thank particularly the students for maintaining a high level of discipline as we were handling that particular issue. We will not have had the graduation that we have had today but because you behaved so well and each and every one of us was able to come in in good time, we were able to tackle the kind of problem that we were faced with here. Going forward, we are going to, ha to have a, a very qualitative process, very qualitative, such that when you get men and women in such positions, there are men and women who exactly know what it entails and how to serve particularly in our universities because there are certain issues as a government, as a ministry, that we can never encourage. And we also have to be fair to each other. If one has served uh, the way the Vice Chancellor has served over the period that he has served, his term comes to an, first term comes to an end in August. What was the urgency? What was the hurry? And knowing that we had this particular graduation today of sending him whom having served so well for the three, uh, four, five years that he has been able to serve this university. It will be upon the Chancellor 
and the new council to advise the ministry and to advise me when the time comes and the third time is not now, that time will be August. You will guide me uh, and following your guidance, that is what we will be able to do because we must have a consultative process in order to make our universities work and they do better. Finally, I also want to assure the students who did their KCSC exam the other year that we are making arrangements to place them in the various courses that they desire and they aspire for. Uh, the ones they have chosen probably in the next uh, one month because they have certain decisions, uh, policy issues which have to be made after we receive the report of the presidential working party. So uh, I know they are anxious, but by next month, I pray that particular exercise will be done so that those who want to come to Mary University or any of our public universities can be able to make a choice. And then when we come to September, when we are opening the universities for those joining, can join the universities of their choice. I wish you well. We will be coming many, many more times uh, to see the progress. We will be able to support you where uh, necessary as a government and as a ministry. And uh, 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 Chancellor, it is now my very humble duty to invite you to address this congregation. Please, Chancellor, welcome and address the congregation. Uh, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Mashogu, our Principal Secretary, our State Department uh, for University Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice uh, Inyagala, um, the Chair of the Council, uh, Dr. Jane Wangoi Kirigai, Council Members, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Ramon uh, Othiambo, Meru Deputy Governor, Isaac Mutuma, Tigania West uh, MP, my friend Dr. John Tunga, former Council Chair, Professor Guracha Galgalo, um, University staff, parents, guardians, distinguished guests from all across uh, the divide, guardians, all protocols observed as led and observed by the Vice uh, uh, Chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and a very warm welcome to the Meru University of Science and Technology's 10th graduation ceremony. It gives me great pressure to congratulate our graduates on this auspicious occasion of the 10th graduation ceremony of Meru University of Science and Technology. I acknowledge the resilience and hard work of the graduating class of 2023, whose commitments have brought them this far to realize their dreams and aspirations. Honorable uh, CS, ladies and gentlemen, it also, uh, it's also my joy and pride to be in the midst of great brains and talent now equipped with the skills to bring positive impact to the socio-economic fabric of our nation, Kenya. Kenya has passed and has already started the journey toward becoming an industrialized uh, digital middle-income economy by year 2030, as envisioned by our Vision 2030 long-term strategic plan, offering high-quality life to its people. You, our graduates, have been prepared to not only tackle but advance this cause and even exceed our expectations. We have faith that among us to you is the workforce that will make the theme of this graduation, embracing science, technology, and innovation for sustainable development a reality 
that will have impact on the lives of our people. I also extend my deep gratitude to parents, guardians, and guardians for walking the academic journey with us and having faith and hope in the spirit of Meru uh, University of Science and Technology with a vision of becoming a world-class university of excellence in science and technology. The learning experience at Meru University of Science and Technology has introduced our graduates to the art of creating new knowledge and innovation, protecting their creations through patenting and commercializing them for income generation. It is my sincere hope that this experience will position them in the good stead as they move into the world of implementation. As the Chancellor of uh, the University, I expect that the skills and experience that you have gained here will add the fame and success stories of indigenous institutions like Safaricom and Equity that have played a big role uh, in uh, innovative ways that we do things and giving Kenya a claim uh, at the world uh, level. As an individual, you can also make your uh, mark in the world, drawing examples from Kenyans who have brought global fame to our country, while the directors like Edward Kipchoge, Ortega, Ortega, uh, Lupe, world celebrated environmentalist like the late uh, Nobel laureate Professor Gary Mathai, or the globally recognized teacher Peter Tabishi. There lies the power of one, and you can rise and make a mark at a global level. I invite you to step up and join these heroes that have positioned Kenyan, Kenya favorably on the global map. Go forth and be a, a broad ambassador of our country, Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, we know the 17th uh, Sustainable Development Goals have drawn, has drawn from the United Nations global goals of 2015 aim to add poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that by 2030 all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Kenya has committed to prioritize progress to ensure we leave no one behind. As we said you out with the skills to different locations of this nation and the world beyond, I urge you to think globally and act locally and bring the change you are capable of. The magnitude of what you do might look small to you, but if all of you do their own part, the total sum of your efforts will bring a huge shift in our socioeconomic uh, status. To us in the corporate world, we always recognize that uh, in 10 years, there is a possibility that what we do may have become absolute and irrelevant. It is therefore critical that like we in business keep on reinventing ourselves, that this paradigm holds great promise as you as young graduates entering the career market. The values that will help you as leaders to drive the agile and uh, di uh, dynamic world that uh, evolves in our world today are creativity, innovation, critical thinking, problem-solving skills, and a continuous learning culture, self-reinventing and disruption. I urge you to constantly reinvent yourself to critically think and know that the best uh, business is solving problems. Graduates, I advise you to focus on being dynamic and forward-looking. How will you optimize on the present opportunities while preparing to adapt to the future? You need to combine technology, adoption, and use with the sustainability. As the world focuses on climate change and sustainability, I invite you to get excited at the opportunities that you size, uh, you size to make a contribution. Your skills in STEM courses plus your innovation means you are strategic, strategically positioned 
to thrive in the fourth industrial revolution that is currently underway. The challenge on you as you leave the gate of this university is how well you put the skills you have put to use for the benefit of society and for your own self-development. De Let me repeat. The challenge on you as you leave the gate of this university is how well you put the skills you have um, the, the skills you have to use for the benefit of society and for your own self-development. I urge all of you graduating today to make job creation your goal. You can only multiply your skills by mentoring and even training others to do what you do. You can better what you do by bringing on board skills from others that you do not have. Learn early to multiply yourself and to identify skills in others that en enhance and uh, strengthen what you can do and by all means bring them on board. This way you'll be able to mobilize all factors of production and not only create jobs but also establish dynamic and resilient organizations for sustainable development in a changing world. As you progress in your career, build trust through reciprocity and nurture a corporate culture then, uh, that embraces collaboration across traditional institution lines. Finally, trust helps institutions and individuals go far together. And with today's list for learning tomorrow, trust is the only true universe, universal currency more valuable than money. And the trust of friends, family, and community, and you will make it. On this note, allow me to turn now to the recent events and truly applaud the government through the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, for the prompt and proactive intervention to restore trust and order in this university. Honorable uh, Cabinet Secretary, your presence here today speaks more. Your ability to appoint a board within two days speaks of the commitment of the government to our education uh, system and to our children. The disruptions we experienced last week were unfortunate and unnecessary and could certainly have been avoided through consultations with necessary stakeholders. University leaders are looked upon to role model by demonstrating to students and society strict adherence to governance, leadership and to the laid down procedures. This is the only way universities can be trusted to supply the market with well-loaded labor force in industry, skills, and leadership potential. As the first chancellor of this university, I take pride and fulfillment in the leadership and development that the current vice chancellor and his management team has brought to this university. I also commend the students and the local community for standing up for the truth. These unfortunate events have signaled that you can live a lie, but you can't force others to live a lie with you. I call upon the Meru University to extend their heart of support to the Kalest administration, whose leadership has tra transformed the Meru University of Science and Technology from the memories of its dark days when there were strikes every other month. And then when I'm and when the Amelu Council of Elders, Jirujeke, donated the land on which this university uh, uh, starts, they demonstrated and, fort, uh, and fortified their commitment to the welfare of community and future gen generations. Subsequently, an assembly of 300 delegates from Meru community at uh, Safari Park Hotel who attended the inaugural Meru University of Science Technology Stakeholders Forum to discuss the university we want. It took three years of building consensus on the way we wanted to shape and grow the dream. 
I call upon the current uh, uh, management that has been and the trustees who have been given the responsibility to really embrace consensus building and essentially inclusion so that we can keep on moving forward the way we have moved. The current university administration has demonstrated its capability and devotion to that dream. In the last five years, the university has achieved tremendous growth in curricular development, staff capacity development, infrastructure development, as well as research and collaborations. The current student en enrollment has increased from 4,000 to 11,000. We have been witnessed the construction of access roads within the university, the greening of the university through the creation of the Chancellor's Forest with over uh, 8,000 trees and the establishment of an incubation center that is already releasing great innovations as we saw today uh, with the Chancellor's Award. The university fraternity, including the student, faculty, administration, and the host community, have been living peacefully for the last five years. It is regrettable that we had to go through what we went, but I once again acknowledge with deep appreciation the urgent, timely uh, measures taken by the ministry and really once again, our uh, honorable seers, appreciate your coming to uh, support the university in a very decisive manner. As I had, I urge you, the graduates, to focus on earning, sustaining, and growing trust. Focus on the future. Push the past, uh, the status quo, and vision progress. Disrupt and reinvent yourself for the world you are helping to shape. On my own behalf and that of the entire university, I wish you all the best in all your future endeavors. God bless you. God bless uh, Meru University of Science and Technology. God bless Kenya. Thank you. Now we go to confirmant of degrees and award of diplomas and certificates. And our graduates, we urge you to be patient. Uh, when the chancellor will be awarding the degrees, those of us who, are, who have gowns, other than the student, we are requesting you to stand up when the chancellor is conferring the degree or awarding the uh, diplomas. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon the Dean, School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean, School of Computing and Informatics, to present the graduate for confirmation of respective doctorate degrees of the Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following one graduate who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the conferment of respective doctorate degrees in the school of agriculture and food science. Doctor of philosophy in agricultural science, Kamau Esther Waidera. Title of thesis, Bioprotection of tomatoes against Phytophthora infestans and alternaria solani using Wabuge Ugadensis extract and Trichoderma asperellum. Wow. Supervisors hey. Dr. Eric Moria, Professor Peter Masinde, and Dr. John Mainge. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sam, 
I have the honor to present the following one graduate who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective doctorate degrees in the school of computing and informatics. Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, Kevenji Joseph. <laughs> Title of the thesis, Integrated Quality of Service Management Technique for Internet Protocol Storage Area Networks. Supervisors, Dr. Makao Mutua, Dr. David Gitonga. I admit you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Meru University of Science and Technology for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by, the, by my authority and that of the entire university give you power to lead and do all that appertains to this degree. you to the Doctor of Philosophy degree of Meru University of Science and Technology, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you power to lead and do all that appertains to this degree. Yeah. Let's have a photo session between our Chancellor. The CS, Cabinet Secretary, uh, PS, with the new graduates, PhD holders, please. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon the Dean, School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean, School of Business and Economics, the Dean, School of Education, the Dean, School of Engineering and Architecture, the Dean, School of Health Sciences, 
the Dean School of Pure and Applied Sciences to present the graduates for confirmation of respective master's degrees of the Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following one graduate who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective master's degree in the School of Agriculture and Food Science. Master of Science in Horticulture, Muredi Joka Moses. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of master's degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 10 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective master's degree in the School of Business and Economics. Master's of Business Administration, Accounting, Onkundi Gladys, Finance, Gaichuru Yunis Murugi, Mbuko Joseph Mwenda, Mungori Boniface Kirema, Muriuki Evelyn Makena, Human Resource Management, Muiti Masi Kanyua, Sichangi Peter Wekesa, Wanderi Miriam, Strategic Management, Kiambati Christine, Mutwiri Sarah Gatwiri. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of master's degrees. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following one, one graduate who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfying the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective master's degree in the school of education. Master of Education in Management and Leadership, Kimani Wainaina Joseph. Graduate, please remain standing until the confirmation of the master's degree. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following seven graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective master's degrees in the school of engineering and architecture. Master of Science in Sanitation, Eliud Grace Kasiva, Gitobu Kenneth Moriungi, Gituma Karemi Keren, Kyarie Wairimo Yvonne, Kobia Benjamin Mwenda, Ouko Vera Odiambo, Oyo Varali Acheng. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of the master's degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following one graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfying the school board of examiners and the Senate for the confinement of respective master's degree in the School of Health Sciences, Master of Science in Epidemiology. Kauro Stanley Martin, please remain standing until the confirming of master's degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following one graduate who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective master's degree in the school of pure and applied sciences master of science in applied statistics mugambi nicholas graduate please remain standing until the confirmation of the degree
I admit the person named to the respective master's degrees for which they have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to lead and do all that pertains to these master's degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now come, call upon the Dean School of Education to present the graduate for award of respective postgraduate diploma of Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following three graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year suspend the school board of examiners and the senate for their one of respective postgraduate diplomas in the school of education postgraduate diploma in education credit motuko elijah motwa ohanya felix odiambo pass muchiri peter gatana graduates Please remain studying until the award of the postgraduate diploma in education. Acting on the powers conferred by the University Act number 42 of 2012, section 38, subsection 3A, and the Meru University of Science and Technology Statute 5, having uh, certified the school board of examiners and the Senate in all subjects for which you were enrolled, trained and examined, it gives me great pressure to award you the respective postgraduate diplomas and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to lead and do all that appertains to these postgraduate diplomas. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, the Dean School of Education, the Dean School of Engineering and Architecture, the Dean School of Health Sciences, the Dean School of Nursing, and the Dean School of Pure and Applied Sciences to present the graduates for confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees of Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following five graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Agriculture and Food Science. Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management, Opumbi Wekesa. Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Education and Extension, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Buyengo. Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Chemtai Onyango. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of bachelor's degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 246 graduates who during 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor degrees in the school of business and economics. Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Akombo, Alego, Kamau, Kimaru, Kipkoech, Kipkogei, Lewa, Mahindo, Ntembei, Okelo, Talam, Wachira, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Bundi, Ibrahim, Kering, Kairie, Mbugwa, Opala, Tanui, Duku, Tomen, Wambui. Bachelor of Commerce, Finance, First Class Honors, Kariki, Dennis Njoroge. 
second class owners, upper division, Abdi, Akot, Awiti, Ayeko, Chebet, Gicheha, Gikundi, Gogo, Ibrahim, Kabuchi, Kajuju, Kanana, Karyuki, Kibuni, Kieti, Kiragu, Malonza, Mbae, Muguru, Muia, Mulani, Muridi, Muriuki, Muriungi, Musafiri, Mutwa, Mutwiri, Mwangi, Mwenda, Motune, Ndwati, Nikoleta, Nyamu, Nzinga, Ojunga, Otiono Sharon, Otiono Collins, Simiu Diana, Simiu Marion, Zakayo, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Angwech, Chege, Cherangat, Gaki, Isolo, Kagendi, Kenga, Kimweli, Kioko, Kiplagat, Karioki, Kidingi, Kome, Maina, Makandi, Masinde, Mbobwa, Mbugwa Patrick, Mbubwa Fibian, Mburu, Meme, Mungi, Mochoge, Mwirigi, Mongela, Ngodo, Ngugi, Njeru, Sambia, Sepania, Shunu, Wainaina, Wako, Wambui. Bachelor of Purchasing and Supplies Management, First Class Owners, Akech Kennedy Omondi, Julius Joseph Awino, Wanyonyi Elizabeth Namaemba, Second Class Owners, Upper Division, Achingo, Aguima, Kipoech, Chwea, Gatobu, Kahagi, Karanu, Kiambi, Kibet, Kimani, Muli, Mudeu, Mutuku, Mutuma, Ngugi, Njuguna, Oliewo, Onyango, Sanya, Wachira, Wainaina, Waswa, Second Class Owners, Lower Division, Abdi, Crispin, Kadambi, Kadija, Kidok, Kidokoi, Ka Magiri, Micheni, Munyoki, Mutie, Mutisia, Nyawira, Opio, Rehema, Tunje. Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance and Accounting, Second Class Owners, Upper Division, Amadi, Barasa, Chelangat, Kabiti, Kamanu, Karanja, Kasakia, Kasimu, Kibunja, Kiema, Kinywa, Kisero, Masai, Muchiri, Muli, Muraya, Moria, Nduto, Nzomo, Wambui, Wanjiru. Second Class Owners, Lower Division, Chepkirui, Cherono Eda, Cherono Valere, Crisanto, Kademu, Kasioka, Mokaya, Bachelor of Business Administration, Human Resource Management. Second Class Owners, Upper Division, Anyanzwa, Murage, Oiko. Second Class Owners, Lower Division, Muridi, Odiambo, Bachelor of Business Administration, Project Management, Second Class Owners, Upper Division, Bet, Kialo, Muema, Second Class Owners, Lower Division, Amboko, Kamau, Mungai, Ngari, Ndiga, Bachelor of Science and Economics, First Class Owners, Otieno, Margaret Omolo, Second Class Owners, Upper Division, Ali, Barongo, Chege, Gatenge, Gatere, Gadoni, Gidimu, Gat Kaguda, Kayungu, Karanja, Karao, Kinyanjui, Kinyuru, Kiplagat, Kiragu, Macharia, Maina Jane, Maina Lilian, Matinge, Masao, Musao, Mudoni Christine, Mudoni Maureen, Mwai, Mwangi, Mwenesi, Njenga, Nyabuto, Okoyo, Onyango, Opio, Wachinga, Wambaki, Wambua, Wambugu, Wanjiru. Second class owners, lower division. Baru, Chepoech Dokas, Chepoech Sharon. Chepngeno, Dubala, Gichubi, Ivasha, Kamau, Kaume, Kimunya, Kinyanjui, Kiprotich, Lekupe, Le Lewisha, Maina, Mbidi, Munyoki, Muridi, Muse, Mude, Mwakave, Mwaniki, Ndungu, Njagi, Ochako, Omariba, Omushiri, Onyango, Simuli, Tunje, Wambui Agnes, Wambui Sara, Wanyoike, Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of bachelor's degrees. Mr. Chancellor Sam, I have the honor to present the following 192 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Computing and Informatics. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, First Class Honors, Kipchir Rafael, Kisengese Masi Kasiva, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, 
Anzimbu, Kabete, Kalako, Kipkemei, Longolea, Maina, Mogaka, Mugaru, Mugechi, Munene, Moreri, Mosioka, Ngama, Nyakundi, Nyokabi, Sang, Tonui, Watiri. Second class honors, lower division, Cheruiyot, Garama, Getaro, Kamau, Karanja, Kihoro, Kipchirchi, Kipkemoi, Kipngeno, Kipiego, Kiveka, Langat, Masharia, Maina Johana, Maina Kiarau, Muli, Mutiso, Mwandeje, Mwangi, Mwaura, Njagi, Nyongesa, Washira. Bachelor of Science in Computer Technology, First Class Honors, Chemutai Fei. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kinyimu, Chalo, Maina, Masaku, Mutai, Njenga, Njoroge, Nzuki. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Gituma, Kaberere, Kitkemei, Kiprotich, Kito, Kwaji, Mbau, Mude, Mudoni, Njoroge, Nyasani, Otieno, Wamai, Wamuyu, Pass, Yade. Bachelor of Science in Computer Security and Forensics, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Irungu, Kiarie, Kiplangat, Kirui, Mkare, Mulwa, Mungere, Mutuku, Mwangi Njau, Mwangi Stephen, Mwangi Stephen Karanja, Naimutie, Ndolo, Ngirimu, Njeri, Otieno, Wesonga. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Cherotich, Kipkirui, Kipkoech, Koskei, Mati, Maugu, Momanyi, Neptune, Nyagara, Oguk, Waome. Bachelor of Business Information Technology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Akombo, Charles, Chege, Gitari, Kavengi, Kimani, Kyoko, Kiprono, Msala, Mwema, Mwangi Joseph, Mwangi Kennedy, Mwaura, Ngigi, Njenga, Nyaga, Obonyom. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Biwot, Chemuntai, Chepingetich, Gavitu, Kabui, Kalinga, Kamau Dennis, Kamau Helen, Kamau Preston, Kangede, Kihara, Kimani, Maina, Mbaya, Mongare, Muchangi, Munene, Musa, Mwangi, Mwanzia, Nandwa, Ndirangu, Ngaide, Ogega, Ouko, Zoita. Battle of Science in Information Technology. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Aviambo, Bill, Chemeli, Kauna, Kipkirui, Kiprono, Kirimi, Mbaya, Mbogua, Mohoho, Ndungu. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Bet, Gishuru, Kamau, Kandie, Kisengese, Chalo, Mbaya, Mushiri, Muinde, Mungai, Mudiora, Muvoka, Mutuku, Ndururi, Nganga, Njeri, Njoroge, Nyaberi, Omurwa, Ondiwa, Sabari, Viuru, Washeke, Wambui, Wangeshi, Pass, Bat, Makumi, Muse. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Information Science, First Class Honors, Mudi, Selina, Mudoni. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Atieno, Chepkemoi, Jeruto, Kambua, Kipkemboi, Kipngetich, Kiptanui. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Gadua, Kiyoko, Kipchirchir, Kipngetich, Mbidi, Nkepen, Okumu. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of bachelor's degrees. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following 150 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Education. Bachelor of Education Science, Biology and Chemistry, First Class Honors, Mwendwa Kanin, Chemistry and Physics, First Class Honors, Kiprotich Aaron, Kipsang Robin Moy. Dwiga Eric Utugi, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Jeb Chirchi, Kaingu, Kemani, Keprop, Maina, Balu, Musimi, Mwangi, Jeru, Ondimba, Onkudi, Rono, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Osgei, Mutia, Mutueri, Mathematics and Biology, Pass, Karambu, Mathematics and Chemistry, First Class Honors, Gitonga Geoffrey Kabui, Zangia Felistas Kazele, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Barbara, Brian, Chalangat, Chepkegat, Chepkemoi, Chepngeno, Cynthia, Kakenya, Kabugu, Kanyengi, Karioki, Kipkurui, Kipkoech, Kipkogei, Korir, Loma, Mahugu, Mairanga, Maluki, Mbivi, Mogemi, Munwa, Mutisia, Mutunga, Mwendwa, Muikali, 
Nyokabi, Nyokangi, Obegi, Otieno, Ouma, Riongo, Duo, Wainaina, Wajiro, Wasike. Second class honors lower division. Atuti, Atuya, Beti, Bichage, Chepkirui, Galugalo, Gitene, Kahonge, Kajira, Kamau, Kanyata, Kariuki, Kayanga, Kimani, Kiplagat, Kiprop, Maina, Martin, Gujiri, Omodo, Odara, Otieno, Rotich, Roji, Wairimu, Wasonga, Pass, Dungu, Viga, Mathematics and Computer Studies, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Givenji, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Ekiru, Osea, Tibet, Kenya, Kivuti, Leila, Mbugwa, Mwet, Orucho, Mathematics and Physics, First Class Honors, Kalyunga Sekaria, Kimani Masi Mumbi, Kinya Brendalis, Madenge S. Mwangi, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Chaos, Chepkemoi, Cherop, Kanyaru, Kimayo, Kepkemei, Kipkurui, Kiprotich, Langat, Liyai, Mandonga, Mutetia, Mwagani, Mwenda, Nekesa, Tuei, Wachira Caroline, Wachira Lindia, Wambua, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Agumba, Chekem, Gatimu, Kekono, Arun, Kamau, Karani, Kibet, Kenyeli, Kipchumba, Kipkenei, Kirui Dominic, Kirui Robert, Koet, Maina Tabitha, Maina Wagari, Manyonge, Mugi, Mugo, Mulwa, Murevi, Mutie, Geresa, Jeri, Njiro, Ouru, Pukemoi, Sang, Duranera, Wangila, Wajala. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of the bachelor's degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 56 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Engineering and Architecture. Bachelor of Technology in Civil Engineering, first class honors, Mutiso Nicholas Kimeo, second class honors, upper division, Kimani Kipkurui, Konde, Lomito, Makori, Wigai, Mwangi, Diba, Ogonda. Second class honors, lower division, Atamu, Lusike, Dirito, Yehia, Opuko, Ramadan, Saina, Duo, Waiganju. Bachelor of Technology in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Second class honors, upper division, Cheruyot, Chalo, Mutua, Nanga, Nkonke, Obiero, Simiu, Wanyoni. Second class honors, lower division. Kamonya, Karioki, Kimanzi, Kiprotich, Mabrook, Marango, Mutuku, Nyaga, Nyagaka, Omari, Omudi, Fiongo, Pass, Yekunda. Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical Engineering, first class honors. Kipkurui, Korir, Lemon. Second class honors, upper division. Kipkemboi, Kiplanga, Kipto, Mutunga, Mwanzige, Jerry, Omolo, Omoto, Rotich. Second class honors, lower division. Cheruyot, Kibet, Kipto, Kongo, Ouma, Pass, Mutegi. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of the bachelor's degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 47 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Health Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Second class honors, upper division, 
Jeru. Bachelor of Science in Community Health and Development, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kasiani. Bachelor of Science in Health Records and Information Management, First Class Honors, Kitau John Muigai. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Atieno, Atina, Chege, Chelengat, Chemusto, Chepto, Cheruyot. Ewoi, Kepkemboi, Keprop, Lomuria, Matthews, Musioka, Mudeu, Mutinda, Ntariyoki, Jerry, Jehia, Joki, Ochieng, Ondanga, Omambia, Owino. Second class honors, lower division, Aguta, Kepkemoi, Jepkemoi, Moranga, Nyabando, Otieno, Rono, Wanyama. Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medicine and Community Health. Kitonga, Kainga, Kalionchi, Karuma, Katula, Kalinga, Kenywa, Maina, Mukaria, Mutesia, Mwenda, Ngochi, Kunjiri, Joroge. I now call upon uh, uh, Dr. Miri Yamato, a clinician, to come over and administer the Hippocratic Oath to the Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medicine and Community Health graduates. Graduates, raise your right hand as you take the solemn promise of. So repeat after me. I solemnly promise in the presence of Almighty God, my family, my teachers, my peers, and all those gathered here to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I solemnly promise in the presence of Almighty God, my family, my teachers, my peers, and all those gathered here to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I shall practice my profession with conscience and dignity. I shall practice my profession with conscience and dignity. The health of my patients will be my first consideration. The health of my patients shall be my first consideration. I shall be ethical and nothing but ethical. I shall be ethical and nothing but ethical. I shall respect secrets that have been confined in me and I shall not make it private or public gossip. I shall respect secrets that have been confined in me and I shall not make it private or public gossip. I shall maintain by all means in my power the honor and the noble traditions of my profession. I shall maintain by all means in my power the honor and noble traditions of my profession. My colleagues shall be my brothers. My colleagues shall be my brothers. I shall seek to establish mutual and respective working relations with other health professionals. I shall seek to establish mutual and respect working relations with the other health professionals. I shall maintain the utmost respect for human life. I shall maintain the utmost respect for human life. And I shall maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. And I shall maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. So help me God. So help me God. Graduates, uh, keep on standing until the degrees are confirmed. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 21 grand ones who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the school of nursing. Chepkerui, Cheriot, Chesang, Gait, Karanja, Karioki, Kigan, Kemutai, Kipchilchil, Emon, Kipchilchil Victor, Kirui, Langat, Musioka, Mwangi, 
Mwingero, Ndomo, Odhiambo, Kugat, Duo, Wanyaga, Yato. Uh, for this particular grandrons, we are going to administer the nurses French and the oath of the nursing profession. I'll ask you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. Hi. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Before the Almighty God. Before the Almighty God. And in the presence of this assembly. And in the presence of this assembly. To observe the nurses code of ethics and conduct. To observe the nurses code of ethics and conduct. I shall faithfully practice my profession. I shall faithfully practice my profession. In accordance with the laid down laws and regulations. In accordance with the laid down laws and regulations. As provided for in the Nurses Act of 2011 of the laws of Kenya. As provided for in the Nurses Act of Kenya. <laughs> I will repeat that again. As, pro as provided for in the Nurses Act 2011 of the laws of Kenya. As provided for in the Nurses Act 2011. <laughs> Of the laws of Kenya. The laws of Kenya. I shall abstain. I, I shall abstain. From whatever is delicious. From whatever is delicious. From whatever is delicious. From what, and mischievous. And mischievous. And shall not take. And shall not take. Or knowingly administer any harmful drug. Or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I shall do all in my power. I shall do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession. To maintain and elevate the standard of my profession. I shall hold in confidence. I shall hold in confidence. All personal matters committed to me. All personal matters committed to me. And all family affairs coming to my knowledge. And all family affairs coming to my knowledge. In the in the practice or my calling. In the practice or my calling. I shall endeavor. I shall endeavor. To work in collaboration with other team members. To work in collaboration with other team members. In the provision of health care. In the provision of healthcare and devote myself and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. The welfare of those committed to my care. So help me God. So help me God. Graduate, please remain standing until the confirmation of the degree. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 124 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Pure and Applied Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Actuarial Science, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Augustine, Cherono, Givendu, Chalo, Lekutit, Mutua, Ngatia, Ojueke, Otsimi, Ouma. Second class honors, lower division. Kamau, Momanyi, Mudoni, Duo, Wabuire, Wanyama, Warutumo. Pass, Mutua, Ojoang. Bachelor of Science in Statistics. Second class honors, upper division. Chege, Jerop. Kamau, Kawembe, Migwi, Mitei, Monyancha, Musembi, Mutanu, Muteti, Mudoka, Mutie, Mutua, Maura, Nyamwaya, Nyevu, Nzaumi, Ochieng, Oyie, Dhuku, Tirop, Were. Second class honors, lower division. Abdul Majid, Aduke, Chirchir Jerotich, Chirchir Titus, Katweshi, Gidua, Jepleting, Kamau, Kiptigin, Kirop, Masharia, Mwangi, Ndunda, Getich, Juguna Kelvin, Juguna Stanley, Omuse, Onyango, Otieno, Simiu, Vincent, Wambua, Yator, Pass, Murigi. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Computer Science. 
Second Class Honours Upper Division, Barasa, Kamau, Kanini, Kilonzo, Langat, Maina, Deritu, Dirangu, Duiga, Gure, Jenga, Joguna, Nyaga, Okindo, Omondi, Ondele, Utieno, Waruru. Second Class Honours Lower Division, Chacha, Gadoni, Gitonga, Intiana, Kamau Faith, Kamau Kariuki, Kimeu, Kingara, Kinyajui, Kinywa, Magondu, Batia, Bugwa Kariuki, Bugwa Dungu, Mohaga, Mohamed, Mukundi, Muraga, Muriuki, Mutemi, Mwangis, Mwanyange, Dinda, Gandu, Nanga, Jeha, Oganda, Samson, Wahome, Wambura, Pass, Herpanai, Mugera, Jeroge, Bachelor of Science, Entomology and Parastology, Pass, Torore, Botany and Zoology, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Duka, Kamala, Mwenda, Nzai, Omiyo, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Maranga, Rashid. Graduates, please remain standing until the confinement of the decrease. I admit the persons named to the respective bachelor's degrees for which they have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to lead and do all that appertains to these degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, the Dean School, School of Engineering and Architecture to present their graduates for award of respective diplomas of Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor Saab, I have the honor to present the following 57 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the award of respective diplomas in the school of agriculture and food science. Diploma in agriculture, distinction, Kagori Shalon, Meshak Purit Kelvin, Muregi Makena Frida, credit, Abdi Sani, Abdi Yusuf, Ahmed, Chemtain, Cherono, Cheruyot, Gasheri, Yetonga Benson, Yetonga Joel, Habon, Halima, Hase, Kabogo, Karioki, Kemavi, Kenya, Koril, Maina, Mainga, Manyonge, Munene, Murioki Evans, Motuko Justina, Motuko Patience, Mwendwa Emma, Mwendwa Michael, Moria, Ngurusi, Ntero, Nyaga, Nyamasio, Odero, Ougo, Wangui, Pass, Gire, Kairuthi, Kiveto, Muirori, Yasin, Diploma in Animal Health and Production, Akualu, Baidili, Getonga, Ikonywa, Itonga, Kyogo, Mukamati, Monoru, Morioki, Mutanguo, Mutevia, Wario. I will now call upon the CEO, Dr. Maria Teresa Agutu, the CEO of Kenya Veterinary Board, to administer the Veterinary Paraprofessionals Act. Please carry it, Thank you, Mr. Will the graduates lift up their right hands? Well, and repeat after me. I, 
being admitted as a veterinary paraprofessional. I, being admitted as a veterinary paraprofessional, solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I shall dedicate myself to aiding society that I shall dedicate myself to aiding society by providing excellent care and services for animals to alleviate animal suffering by providing excellent care and services for animals to alleviate animal suffering and to promoting public health and to promoting public health I accept my obligation to practice my profession conscientiously I accept my obligation to practice my profession conscientiously and with sensitivity and with sensitivity adhering to the profession's code of ethics adhering to the profession's code of ethics and furthering my knowledge and competence through a commitment to lifelong learning and furthering my knowledge and competence through a commitment to a lifelong learning so help me god so help me god diploma in food science and technology credit karia kangogo Maganjo, graduates please remain standing until the award of diplomas. So Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following nine graduates who during 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate with the award of respective diplomas in the school of business and economics. Diploma in procurement and supply chain management, credit, Adan, Ali, Guyo, Mohammed, Mambile. Diploma in Business Administration, Distinction, Kadomi Purity, Kinoti Kaguiria, Violet. Credit, Krimi, Micheni. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of diplomas. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sam. I have the honor to present the following 18 graduates during the 2021-2022 academic year certified the school board of examiners and the senate for the award of respective diplomas in the school of computing and informatics diploma in information technology distinction kilipan tyren john credit hache kaecha kaltuma kame kitingeno magaga maore mishubu munene muredi mutua pass abdullahi elema harun Kenya Caroline, Kenya Peterson, Moteria. Graduates, please remain standing until the word of diplomas. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following 20 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year Satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respective diplomas in the School of Engineering and Architecture. Diploma in Civil Engineering. Credit. Radan. Kipkoech. Kidore. Munyalo. Njeru. Diploma in Electrical Engineering. Credit. Buyo. Karyoki. Muchina. Muindi. Munene. Broki. Mururu. Pass. Mutua. Diploma in Automotive Engineering. Credit. Calvin. Chege, Gitao, Kayuyu, Jaombe, Wafula, Pass, Akelo. Acting on the powers conferred by University Act 42 of 2012, Section 38, Subsection 38, and the Meru University of Science and Technology Statute 5, having certified the School Board of Examiners and Senate in all subjects for which you were enrolled, trained and examined, it gives me great pressure to award you the respective diplomas and by my authority and that of the entire university give power to lead and do all that appertains to these diplomas. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I now call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, the Dean School of Engineering, 
and architecture to present the graduates for the award of the respective certificates of Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor Saab, I have the honor to present the following 16 graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the award of respective certificates in the school of agriculture and food science. Certificate in agriculture, distinction, Karonso Kangai Rita, Ogindo Justice Nyabute, credit, Fosia Gitari Gite, Guyatu, Kianira, Lesalon, Munyoki, Motuko, Murigi, Nkada, Pass, Hafsa, Mawera, Mogera, Nasir. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of certificates. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following two graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respective certificates in the School of Business and Economics. Certificate in Business Administration, Distinction, Kaltuma Adan Abado, Nkonge Murangiri Dennis. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of the certificates. Mr. Chancellor Sam, I have the honor to present the following eight graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respective certificates in the School of Computing and Informatics. Certificate in Information Technology, Credit, Gatwiri, Kanyi, Kadure, Kinyua, Mukiri, Musungu, Musioka, Sopia. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of certificates. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following seven graduates who during the 2021-2022 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respective certificates in the School of Engineering and Architecture. Certificate in Electrical Installation, Credit, Adam. Certificate in Automotive Technology, Distinction, Kyogora Kenua Nicholas. Credit, Kalongo, Buredi, Oloshurwa. Certificate in Building and Construction, Credit, McKenna, Buredi. Acting on the powers conferred by University Act Number 42 of 2012, Section 38, Subsection 3A, and the Meru University of Science and Technology, uh, Statute 5, having satisfied the School Board of Examiners and Senate in all subjects for which you were enrolled, trained, and examined, it gives me great pressure to award you the respective certificates and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to lead and do all that appertains to these certificates. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to present the graduates to their parents, guardians, and society. Graduates, turn and face your parents. Kindly stand up, turn and face your parents and guardians, please wave at them and say thank you for the great support that they have given you. Parents and guardians, thank you very much for educating your children. God bless you, class of 2023. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to inform the graduates to return their gowns and collect their certificates as from Monday, 3rd April 2023, 
to Tuesday, 11th April 2023. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, in accordance with the University Act number 42 of 2012, section 39, past 2, and the Mary University of Science and Technology, Statute 41, section 6, I declare this congregation officially dissolved. Mr. Chancellor, sir, we have come to the end of this ceremony, and we thank God for taking us through and giving us a good weather. I wish to make some announcements that the Chancellor will be officially opening the Innovation Center, and the, the, the Chancellor will be accompanied by the University Council members, the Cabinet Secretary, the Permanent Secretary, and the UMB members. All other invited guests, you have been invited for lunch at the cafeteria. You will be guided by our ushers, for those who do not know, the Sorry. Sorry, a correction. The area MP and the deputy governor will also accompany the chancellor to the innovation center. So I would like to request that we all stand up for the national anthem. And please remain standing until the procession leaves the dais. All graduates and all invited guests, please remain standing until the procession leaves the dais. Thank you.
Peace.